So, yeah. hello everybody. Welcome to day seven of Look Ma No Hands, the the stream where I try mostly unsuccessfully to have my friends distract me and uh, prevent me from using my hands for a week. Except instead, I just made an entire video this week <laughs> by accident. Day thirty-three. Uh, give it up for day thirty-three. <laughs> um. And I, I believe I am going to be doing another round of this. I need one or two days off, uh, but at the very least, I want one of the next week's days to be me reading a Bacchano novel over stream, because I think that'll be fun. Yeah. But um, anyway, this is our final day. Uh, and today we've got my good buddy Keen, who is Hi. showing me the Warlock of Firetop Mountain. Keen, who are you and what is this? I'm, I'm me. I'm in some of Jello's things from way back. Um, I also have a, a space series that is on its way out called The Space Ditties. Go check it out. I've been putting up little clips, little snippets of things to come. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, I, that's all I got. We're gonna play The Warlock of Firetop Mountain, uh, which is kind of like a dungeon crawl sort of game. Um, According to some very helpful people in chat who inform me on what it is, it is sort of like a choose-your-own-adventure book. Um, I think the best way is to just kind of get right into it. I'm gonna do a new game story. Welcome back, player! Yeah, new, new journey. Select your figurine. Okay, so we have some okay. people we can play as. So before anything, I actually need to purchase some. Um, so let's see. So the, the in-game currency is souls. So you get them from fighting things. You use them to unlock more characters as you go along. Oh, um, so this is like a many attempts but short, difficult campaign kind of game. And then you get to play as more things you can unlock. That's interesting. Okay. I think so. So I have so they get like exponentially more expensive. So I can afford any of these three. Um, and there's like more over here. And I also bought the DLC pack because it, it was like on sale for two bucks. So that's like another three heroes to pick from. Yeah, you can pick which one I buy because it doesn't matter to me. We All have right, so, this lady. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna like scan as fast as I can. Sure. Uh, All Ooh, right. Uh, her brain. She runs around. She's got a bow. Uh, okay. Educated. Got it. Eyes. Next. Yep. Next. This one is like a cowboy or something. Yeah. Wealthy uh, merchant. What, so what, what is his fucking name? Hanabella Dehab. Yep. The daughter oh, of a wealthy girl. merchant from Silverton. She could, if she wished, look comfortably. Blah blah blah. First life of an adventurer, assuming where she lays her sword, you know. Tributes okay. keen eye and lucky favor fortunes you often. Hmm. All right, so she's she's a lucky merchant. That's actually fun. That's up my alley. And here's Dob Lowen, youngest. Da da da. He's a priest, basically. Okay. Um. Righteous evil must be where the forces of good. Not sure what that means. I'm gonna I'm gonna for sure say let's let's buy us that merchant girl. Sure. So bam. She uh, she seems like the most fun and also the least good. <laughs> so well, we can we can kind of look through through all of them real quick. I've been playing as this purple lady mostly, but you have like a tough guy with spear, dexterous okay. has keen eyes. So there's him. You have Dekian Strom, soldier for hire, dexterous and keen eye. Uh, you have this guy. So he has like a lot of stamina. Is your health? Um, skill is. Um, so when you're rolling to, it's kind of weird. So when you're rolling to like do like like a skill check, basically, you want to roll under this number. You want to roll low on skills. And you want to roll high when it comes to fighting. Um, luck is so, seven. So skill being lower is better. It's so you want you want it to be higher because you want to roll under that number. Oh, okay, yeah, so yeah. So if right, they had a skill yeah. of like eleven, that's easier. Uh, he's illiterate, but he's fearsome. So he'll probably scare away some nasty goblins if you run into them. Uh, okay. So yeah, next group, uh, I just unlocked this guy because I had enough, but he's, I think, also a tough warrior man. He has 19 stamina. Fierce so, and dexterous. I'll, I'll tell you what. I want to do a test run. Uh, like, I want to I want to play that merchant girl, sure. but I want to do a test run first because I, like, uh, I feel like I'd like to die quickly as someone else. Oh, no, no, hang on. Don't pick the merchant girl. Okay, so, okay, so we'll go back. So we'll do a uh, test run. Um, let's let's do a test run with uh let's can I see that first screen of fellows? Oh there's more. Okay. Yeah, these are the DLC heroes. Um there's like Sword Lady with Shield. She actually, she's pretty good. 19 stamina, 11 skill and yeah, wow. that's not bad. You can look at their attacks. Um when you fight it's sort of like on a grid. Um so like she has a weak front attack but she can attack really strong to the left. 
Um, okay. She can hit like someone in front and to the right. Um, I mean, she's she's nice. blonde. And I'm fairly sold. What are the other two like? I'm I'm barely gonna like. I, <laughs> That's okay. I'm aware we're on a. St All right, this is fucking Raccoon from Dragon Ball Z. That's right. Yeah, big stamina. I think he has the highest out of the ones we have. And he's illiterate, so if we have to read something, he's gonna fail at it instantly. It's yeah, we big, can't. Big dumb fighter can't. man. I refuse to play an illiterate character. And that then, just sounds annoying. Perhaps the luckiest adventure ever to roam Titans. So yeah, his luck is pretty good. I don't know exactly what that attributes to. But he is lucky, and he's got key right, eyes. So he's old man stabby. Looks like. Let's let's start with the the blonde DLC girl. Sure, bam. Her name is almost not stupid too. Um, <laughs> Okay, so we're not gonna worry about we we can do tutorials if you want to like see. No, I I trust you to I yeah. trust you to pilot us through here. All right, here we go. Oh, she's going off to the side. Normally they just go right to the to the front of the mountain. Okay. At last, last... Your two day yeah, go ahead. yeah, go for it. You want me no, to? Yeah, good. okay. There there are cases where you can voice. She'll say stuff, so you can voice those if you want. Um. At last, your two-day hike is over. It took longer than you thought as you skirted your home of Darkwood Forest, avoiding encounters with the dangerous beasts which lurk within. For once, your quest is not about treasure and glory, but instead one of knowledge. Darkwood Forest itself is in peril. The very life seems to be draining from the trees themselves. The once majestic trees are succumbing to a strange magical disease that makes them wither and rot within a matter of weeks. Young saplings, young saplings which would have once taken their place, are also failing to... Oh... Also, uh, it's missing an O and a period. <laughs> you need to find out why this is happening, and the so-called warlock of Firetop Mountain may hold some clues, or at worst be directly involved with a potential catastrophe. You fear that unless you find a cure, the forest will be doomed. Yeah, depending on which character you take, they all have, like, a different reason for being here. Alright, so we're, we're here to save the woods. Yep. You lower yourself down on the rock, mossy rocks to sit for a moment's rest, the mountain looming above you. Since leaving your home, you may have been feeling... You have been feeling unwell. At first it felt like fatigue, but more recently you have been sleeping fitfully and your skin has become feverishly hot to touch. Oh. Oh, shit. After some time, you make your way up a steep, rocky slope to a small opening in a cliff wall. You've seen goblins making their way to and from this entrance, and you're quite sure this is a possible entrance into Zagor's domain. Your adventure starts here. here until we is, bloom. is Zagor the, the warlock? I believe so. Okay. See a rocky corridor. Oh, do I start off in a different spot too? Okay, I guess because they're DLC characters. Yeah, normally... Okay, so actually... Alright. <laughs> uh, you see a rocky corridor stretching out into the gloom ahead, and there is a sound of rushing water bubbling somewhere deep beneath your feet. Oh, okay. It feels cool in here. Hopefully this will quell my raging fever. Let's light up your lantern. Yeah, this is the different entrance, so... I'm now as... 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 Not in the know as you are. You light your lantern and begin wandering through the rock-hewn tunnel. The walls are damp and there are small bones and animal droppings littered across the floor. I I kind of love this visual of like, yes, it's like, yeah. it's a little more than like a tabletop, but it's basically just cute minis. Yeah. It's a, this is fun. You hear the sound of small scurrying feet in the darkness ahead. Three brown-skinned goblins run toward you across a wooden walkway, snarling and shouting aggressively, waving their weapons in the air. Uh, why they gotta be brown-skinned warlock of Firetop Mountain? Why do you have to specify? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is not the goblin diversity we're looking for. Um, I'm barely in the mountains, and I already have a fight on my hands. One word echoes around the corridor. Intruder! Fight the goblins. Alright, so you'll see how the oh. combat works. Alright, there's some goblins. So, he just turned this way. Usually that means he's gonna, like, come this way. Goblins are sneaky motherfuckers and, like, are very tricky, right? So, normally when you turn, that sort of indicates what direction you're going to go in. But sometimes they won't do anything and we'll just attack diagonally. So, I'm gonna do the spot and I'm just going to attack. And he moved in so he just gets hit. Um, nice and easy. So, it looks like he's gonna go that way. Maybe he will or maybe he won't. Um, so, I'm just gonna attack here again. Yep, see, he likes to attack diagonally because he thought I was going to go down here to get him here. Um, so he'll probably actually move for reals now. So maybe I'll attack here. Yeah. Bam. All right. So that's kind of how it works. Um, All right, we eat his souls. Yep, we got his souls. Um, see, a weak front attack, but she's really good at hitting diagonally, which is good. Um, if this guy's going to move here. So worst case scenario, he tries to attack diagonally. Nope, I just get him. Bam. Oh, 
we'll move forward. And I don't know what the fuck this guy's doing. He's just... I mean, he's hiding. He didn't want any of this. Yes, they did! They came running at me! <laughs> this is exactly what they, were... they wanted. Fear of Fame blind sign. Just attack. <laughs> it's such a wimpy little dink noise. Dink. It's very funny. Um, assuming he's gonna move. Ethereal Fane. I already forgot what that does. I'll have to look. Yeah, he just moves. Actually, wait. Because if I move in and he attacks. Okay, no, I'm good. You're trying, but. Well, alright, you aced that. So that good was job. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it gets more. Some of the villains later on are a little more tricky. Um, you quickly inspect the goblins and turn out some gold coins from their pockets. Five gold pieces. Money matters a little bit. Um, sometimes you can just use money to solve a thing and you're good. You learned much about goblins over the years and your education tells you that they are always post guards near the entrance. Their actual lair tends to be built a lot deeper underground. Let's hope that this clan, uh, so just so you know, it's like, a li it's going to be a little hard for me to read here. I still want to, but like, because of the italicized text, the aliasing on the discord window is a little fucky. Oh, speak. is it? Okay. Yeah, you, there's nothing you can do about that. It's just Discord. Let's hope that this clan... Uh, let's hope that this clan... Don't? don't? Maybe okay. she might have, I, like, a southern kind of... Alright, let's hope that this clan don't feel the need to have too many goblins guarding the entrance. That fight was quite noisy and could attract more. I'm gonna make her a southern belle. Sure. Uh, do you want to hide the bodies or press on? Uh, let, let's hide the bodies. we got a cliff here. Just chuck them off. Who cares? <laughs> Drag three goblins back to the entrance and place them outside behind a large outcrop of rock. Hopefully they should be well hidden, even if there are more goblins prowling around on these slopes. Press on. Alright. I'm, I'm very into cute little hopping shit. <laughs> you clamber across a small gorge that cuts the path in two. A poorly constructed goblin bridge made up of rough wooden planks creaks under your weight but appears to hold. You near the trickle of water flowing down below, somewhere in the darkness. However, it is hard to judge how far down it actually is. On reaching the other side, you can see a small table and chairs, which you assume was there, uh, was where the goblins were seated before you walked in. So, there's also anything you can turn off the color if you want it to look like old school. Old school? What does that say? It says, rest uh, ye here, weary traveler. So, we'll go over how resting works. Uh, also set against the walls, wooden bench where you may rest. Player would strongly advise sitting on this bench. If you don't, do not, Ophelia Lapwing will not be able to resurrect to this location if they perish. So here's how the benches and resurrecting works. Uh, you start off with three resurrection stones, um, but you resurrect at the last bench you did not sit on. Um... Normally, if you sit on a bench and you eat some provisions, which I think you start off with, like, three or four. Uh, if you just rest, you get back five stamina. If you eat also, you get back ten stamina. Uh, since we didn't lose any in that fight, and I'm pretty confident, um, I'm just going to ignore and continue east. Um, so if we die, we should be able to spawn back here instead of it just being, like, a game over. Um, oh, I can... Okay, do you want to examine the table or go east? I didn't see there was two options here. Uh, I guess let's examine the table, since it gives us the option. The table appears to be made of old pieces of driftwood, no doubt scavenged from a river. There are some bones laying on top, along with some gold pieces. My guess is they were playing some kind of gambling game. They resemble actual goblin bones, too. Yuck! Yuck! <laughs> Yuck! Yuck! You go to grab a few of the coins from the table, and then realize that beneath the bones there are even more coins. You push the bones away with your weapon, and then take the goblin's hull. Luckily for you, they were better. They, they were betting large amounts of gold. Oh, nice. All right, that's, that's handy. I mean, shit. Like we've already made out pretty good. Let's just go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, the woods. It's the okay. I'll jetty buy. Lies I'll... to the south. Continue east or investigate the jetty. Mm, let's investigate the jetty because I love the word jetty. That's a good word. The sound of rushing water intensifies as you walk onto a wooden jetty. Waving your lantern, you can see three crude nets hanging down into the darkness, attached to wooden handles wedged between the wooden planks. You suspect these to be fishing nets trawling into the unseen river below. Okay, uh... First net, second, third, or ignore. I was hoping we could, like, dunk our head in the water to ho combat our fever. I don't... I think it's, like, way I down. Don't... Yeah, I don't... I don't... You know, I'm gonna say ignore the nets and continue east. I don't sure. think there's any... There's anything I want with fish. Yep, some t and sometimes just mean shit happens. This game can be kind of mean sometimes. Yeah, so I figured. It's, I, it's I got that energy. Push, yeah, I tend to push forward in my playthroughs because it's like you, you can end up with cool stuff, but you can also just fucking die. It just depends. 
You stand beneath an iron cage that is suspended above you. To your left, two wooden beams hold up what appears to be a small wooden hut. To your right, you see a larger wooden hut, accessed by... Wait, assessed by number of wooden planks acting like a makeshift bridge. Investigate the hut to the left, look closely at the cage, walk across the makeshift bridge to, to the larger hut, or keep heading east. Iron cage. Uh, who? We are. We sure are beneath an iron cage. Uh, sorry, I was looking at chat, so I'm like quickly re-skimming oh. that initial description. Um, they hold up what appears to be a small wooden hut. Let's. You know what? Let's look closely at the cage. Not to King's Quest myself, but... <laughs> Looking up, the cage appears to be empty. A large metal rod hangs from a rope that appears to be connected to a pulley system above the cage. I wonder if I can get higher to see if there's anything inside. Don't pull the rope, you <laughs> dumb yuck! <laughs> you 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 um, Uh, let's, let's investigate the hut to the left. The hut is crudely built from old pieces of driftwood. You can see a small window, but there doesn't appear to be anyone or anything in it. Try and climb up the window, walk across the makeshift bridge to the larger hut, or keep heading east. Let's let's go in the window. The climb is easy as you pull yourself up and onto the wooden planks. You peer through the window and see a small room big enough for a goblin to stand. You can see two broken arrows of goblin design lying on the floor. I mean, I guess I'll look inside the cage if I can see it. Yeah, peer and look inside the cage. As you are perched at the same height as the cage, it is easy to hold your lantern forward and look through the bars. The light reflects off of something shiny inside. Let's do it! Grab the cage! Die! <laughs> you reach out with your weapon and manage to hook the cage, which pulls, which you pull towards you. Rolling around the cage is a small glass sphere. You reach inside and grab the sphere, letting go of the cage that swings back into the darkness. I've seen something like this before. It has a magical energy. You climb back down, pocketing the strange spherical object. Okay. Uh, so there's a right. bigger hut, or we can ignore it. Uh, let's ignore it. Ignore! Bye! Oh, before I do anything, I can... Um... Wait, what? You try to dodge some arrows. No, that's not what I'm trying to do. I was just seeing what these things did. Um... I'm just looking at the bio. So we have a lantern, we have the small weird thing. Confront Robin of Orm in the Master of Earth and discover heal Darkwood Forest. Yeah, I'm looking at what her attacks do because I know I'm going to need it. A deceptive attack that cannot be parried or blocked. This attack automatically wins any clash. Oh, that's really good. Okay. So I'll, I'll remember that. Quick okay. slash for blade and suddenly a fairly shifted places. Okay. Do I have to? I guess we gotta. <laughs> Oops. I didn't, I didn't click on. God damn it. Test your skill. So yeah, we want to roll less than an 11. So you click, and if it looks like it's going to be really bad, it can kind of... Okay, we're good. Okay. Easily. So you can kind of cheat sometimes and click the uh, the dice as they're rolling to get a different result. You easily dodge the arrows. Knowing that more arrows are likely to fly again, you quickly check your surroundings. You're standing on an outcrop of rock that extends slightly away from the cave wall you have been following. Behind you is the hut on stilts where you can hear the shrieks of the goblin archers. And in the gloom ahead, you see another hut built into the cave wall. Cave wall, rough hewn stone steps also lead upward. To your right, you can also see what looks to be the top of a ladder that extends down into darkness and may lead down to the river bubbling below. Uh, goblins! Suddenly alert to the sound of goblins coming down from the hut. They now brandish small swords. I mean, yeah, we, we gotta fight them. Sure, sure. There. Okay, so fight. I, I will not click that compass again because that just makes things happen. Um, oh. Can I zoom in? Oh, this is this. It's like a choose your own adventure book in video game form. Yeah, it's kind of fun. I, uh, the only choose your own adventure books that I have ever had actually are, um, I had these choose your own adventure books for Zelda. What is it? Zelda, uh, and Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. Games which I never owned and never played. Nice. Blam oh, no. Oh, wait. No, we won. So oh, okay. in combats, you want to roll higher. Right, sorry. I, it's it's, it's taking weird me a that while, it's backwards, though. yeah. Okay, nine souls. Last of the bodies is slain. Checking their bodies, you find a few gold coins. Hell yeah. We're just rich. All right. What do you do now? Uh, climb down the ladder or go east more? Uh, let's go down the ladder. Let's mix it up a little. I'm like, I'm trying to be successful, but I also want to get, like, I want to maybe <laughs> die or encounter some bad shit so it's a more interesting stream. Yeah. 
You're doing pretty good so far. You're doing better than I did the first time I played. Climbing down the ladder, you reach a small wooden platform. Another ladder then leads you down to a rickety wooden platform where most of the planks seem to have rotten and fallen away. The sound of rushing, oh. bubbling water fills your ears, and you do not... Oh, shit. The bats? Okay. So we gotta bats. roll under an 11. Um, so you can kind of... <laughs> as the dice roll, you can kind of cheat. Uh, yep. You manage to duck and keep your balance on the planks. Bite the bats. Oh, they're senti. All right. Yeah, they're nasty bats. I'm trying to remember what the deal with the bats were. If they have anything, can I click it? Can I? Can I like see? No. Okay. Mm, no. Your education doesn't know anything about bats. What's the can deal you... with bats? Ah, yep. Okay. He's trying to okay. go for a diagonal slappy. Hmm. So orange is where I can attack, depending on... So you can attack, like, diagonally, right? Um, yeah, maybe, blue is where maybe attack move. towards the ladder and hope that top bat moves there. Nope. No. Die. So I have a power of, of 11. He has a power of, you know, 6, and then you roll and add. Okay. Oh, God, they have a lot of HP. They do. They're pretty tough. These are These bats are tougher than the goblins. Hmm... do blind side yeah okay so that's what that does nice um i think this one is kind of stuck so ow bats oof don't like those noises bats <laughs> yeah um i would just keep trying to get rid of that bottom one ow so he's either gonna. Yeah, he's moving away. Ooh. So this, this is kind of rough because if I move down, he can just keep attacking diagonally. So if he's moving away, I might just leave him for now. Look out for yeah. this one. Ooh. You don't really have anywhere to go. Get him. Let's roll that a little bit better. There we go. Okay. I might get hit. No matter what. Unless Wait, hang I... on, hang on. Oh, oh that yeah. works. Yeah, alright. Never that's that's what I was actually gonna suggest. That works. Get out of here. All I'm right. glad that the DLC girl is broken, so She's we're pretty good. We'll have... It's got some good moves. I would just I would just wait fucking here, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately there's no wait moves, you just attack. I mean that's fine. The space. I'm gonna attack this one in case he's attacking diagonally. Nope. God yeah, fuck these bats. Yeah, maybe maybe faint again. Get him! Yeah. So how long does it take to refresh your uh, your abilities? Um, it has a little countdown timer. So like in this one, it'll be two turns. Okay. I'm just going to. Yeah, he's just gonna come back. Idiot. All right. Man, I got hit. Lost four stamina, but gained twelve souls. You strike the last of the bats, and its lifeless body slams down into a rotten plank, which easily shatters, sending both the bat and plank hurtling down into the darkness below. You're about to climb back up the ladder when you notice a small open sack leaning against one of the posts. On examining the sack, you are disgusted to find dead insects of various descriptions. There's also a small bell resting on top. Oh, I think someone was feeding these bats and getting their attentions with this bell. Oh, we uh, we take that shit. Yeah, get the bell. We can, we can uh, have people attack... We, we can attack people with bats. Yeah. Like. You walk up some steps that have been crudely cut into the rocky path. Another goblin hut and hanging cage looms above you on your left. You can hear a whimpering soft cry coming from the cage. H help me, please! Uh, let's examine the hut to make sure we're not going to get ambushed again. This hut is much like the rest, built into the side of the cave wall. You do not see any signs of life coming from within. Okay, at least I don't need to... D let's look at the cage. <sighs> Click. Looking up the cage, um, looking up, the cage appears to be occupied by a small humanoid form. As before, the large metal rod hangs from a rope that appears to be connected to a pulley system above the cage. Uh, try to work out the pulley mechanism. Swing the rope left to right and making small tugs, you try to work out the, me the mechanism to release the cage. With a little thought, you manage to work out that if you pull the rope backwards and give it a tug while still holding the rope, you will release a catch above which enables you to slowly lower the cage to the rocky floor. 
Inside, you can see a gnome, dressed only in a loincloth and covered in blood and dirt. He looks at you with weary eyes and reaches out his hand. Please set me free, he says. We'll, we'll question this gnome. You ask the gnome who he is and why he was imprisoned by the goblins. I was a day out of Anvil and got ambushed by some goblins, he says. I think I was thrown into a river it was following. The gnome looks up to you, com completely dejected. Can you please release me? Uh, yeah, let's, let's free this gnome. Leave! You easily smash the lock from the cage door using the hilt of your weapon. The door creaks open and the gnome tentatively gets up and steps forward to freedom. You're about to suggest checking the... Okay. I thought he was about to, like, fucking stab us. You're about to suggest checking the gnome's wounds when he suddenly darts forward. When he darts forward, running back down the tunnel towards the entrance. Uh... Chase the gnome or leave him? I don't know. I kind of, I kind of just want to leave him be in hopes that big, big gnome danger will come back later and kill us. <laughs> All right, oh. leave the gnome and continue east. Bye. What? A, whatever, man. You reach a ladder and a path leads to your right. Follow the path or climb the ladder. Uh, let's climb the ladder. It's a, it's a mountain. It's a goblin. You climb the ladder as quietly as possible. You peer over the top of the platform, and you can see a oh, large shit. orc asleep on a chair. He's sitting next to another goblin hut that has a small doorway leading into a darkened room. You carefully pull yourself over the edge and get to your feet. The orc continues to snore loudly, and you notice another hanging cage to your left. Something appears imprisoned within. I'm feeling feverish again. Not sure I have the strength to pick a fight. I'm not sure why I'm British oh, now. Oh, minus four skill. Oof. Fuck, yikes. Okay. How did that happen? Jeez. Wake uh, the orc or sneak What do you mean, wake the... We can't go back down? All right. No. Uh, why would we wake the orc instead of just killing him? Um, oh, God. I mean, with, with minus four skill... I don't know. What, what should we do, chat? Uh, do we... So sneaking by would make us have to do a skill check, so we'd have to roll a seven or lower, which is pretty rough. Um, not all orcs are bad, Chilla. <laughs> should we do, like... Type 1 for Wake the Orc, type 2 for Sneak Pass. That way we can see, like, the wave of 1s and 2s. Uh, Austin said wake him up, All so right. I'll, I'll believe in Austin. <laughs> you wake the Orc with your weapon and suddenly wake Startle, grabbing the hilt of its sword and reflex action. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, well, what's that what's... mean in it shouts, jumping to its feet? Um, well, this works, I Yeah, guess. fucking, uh, let, let's, uh, let's talk to this Orc. What's up, man? Where's Zagor? The orc looks at you suspiciously and says, Zagor, eh? Horrible fella, that one. Runs the mountain. No time to chat. These horrible goblins don't want guests, so that means you have to die. Oh. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. See, I'm not I'm not sure why we wouldn't have just assassinated <laughs> the orc if he was clearly hanging out with these goblins. I think some characters will let you just assassinate them. Uh, I don't remember. Move forward, you idiot. Blam. Yeah, these guys are mega tough. I figured. He's also being a fucking dummy. Um, Ethereal faint. Oh shit. Our skill is much worse than normal. He's <laughs> probably gonna move that way, so I'm going to... Well, I have the Ethereal faint, which hits him no matter what. Get fucked. He's like, what? Why'd you do that? So I will... Blind side won't work. Well, eh, he'll just attack. <laughs> Go come near me. Ow, fuck. Look, man, you're the one. I, I woke you up, but you're the one who attacked me. That's right. Come on, roll high. Ugh. Okay, that still works. Alright. Uh, he's probably gonna move that way, so. Get fucked. Alright, you fucking aced that orc. Yep. Good job. Lost no stamina and gained two souls. You have defeated the orc. The orc swims to the floor to pool blood. Now that the guard has been taken care of, you can easily explore this area. Search the goblin hut, ignore the hut, and examine the cage, or ignore both and head north. Let's let's look at the hut. More stuff. No, click. Uh, hut. Oh, all right. Thirsty. You need to control. Eat, eat, blah, 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 blah. All right. You need to crawl on your hands and knees to get through the doorway. On entering the dark space, you wave your lantern around and see a mess of objects strewn around the room. You rummage around through bones, broken arrows, and goblin waste. Ew, to find a few coins, a carved wooden dagger, and a small box with a silver lid. Okay. Got a lot of money, but no skill. Uh, okay. Um, fuck it, let's open that box. Hopefully it's filled with poison! Oh, death! 
With a little force, the silver lid creaks open on nail hinges. Inside, you find a brown powder that has a disgusting aroma. This, st um, this stuff smells disgusting. What is it, I wonder? Poop. Um, Maybe. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's powdered goblin shit. Uh, let's take the box. Do you want to examine the cage instead, or take the box and go north? Oh, um, examine the cage. Just as you're about to leave, two large creatures jump out of the shadows. You try desperately to back out of the hut before they reach you. Shit. Uh oh. Okay, that looks pretty good. That's five. We did it. <laughs> you escaped oh, the rats. hut and the rats. Oh, they're big rats. Oh, now we have to fight them. What? Oh, they, they, oh, right. they probably okay. would have like hurt us and like we would probably <laughs> taken damage or something before going into this fight. So this works. God, out. yeah. Wow. Fuck. This is a this is a dangerous place we're walking through here. Mm -hmm. Ow. Well, that's what I got. Um, good thing I have a decent amount of health, so I can make mistakes. All right. Just keep swinging. Get yep. get him. How do you attack this box? Is there stuff in it? I don't know. I've actually. I, I imagine you just break cover. Roll the dice. Oh, oh. tie. Scary. These are some strong rats. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, sometimes they'll bump into each other, and it's like, oh, good job. Hmm, he might move up that way. Doesn't matter, swing at him! Yeah, but he's gonna lie. I don't remember how to change directions without moving, but it doesn't matter, I guess. I'm not, I'm not gonna trick them. Let's do ethereal paint. Then he's probably gonna move, yeah, which is fine. It'd be amazing if we just went back and forth <laughs> over and over forever. All right, lost two salmon to gain four souls. With every fatal, bl with every fatal oh. blow, the rats do not fall down dead like normal creatures. Instead, they suddenly explode into a puff of dark smoke that settles in the ground as a fine dust. Ugh. Ooh, that looks like the brown dust I found in the box. I think there's strange magic at work. Let's let's look at the cage. Might as well. We're already here. Oh, there's a guy up there. Whoa. Uh, ah, you kill orc! Thank you, human! You see that a small goblin is standing upright in the cage with an arm outstretched pointing at the stinking corpse. It's already stinking? Damn. If you free me, I will help ya! It whispers. This goblin was locked up for a reason. Maybe he was a thorn in the side of this clan? He could be useful. I don't know, man. I... Nah, I don't want to free this goblin. I don't I trust eat. him. Despite its pro protestations, you leave the goblin in his cage. It was locked up for a reason. You have two options ahead of you. Climb the wooden steps or follow the stone path along the ledge. Let's follow the stone path. We're sick and we've been doing a lot of climbing. You make your way into what appears to be an armory. Sword, shields, and other pieces of equipment litter the floor in a haphazard fashion. Above you hangs yet another prisoner cage, which appears empty. And stone steps lead up lead out upwards to your left. In the darkness from ahead, you can hear the sounds of lots of tiny feet scurrying across rocks, accompanied by chattering voices. You quickly turn off your lantern. I'm starting to feel unwell again. This is terrible timing. Oh my god, girl. Oh god. I'm girl. starting to wonder if there was anything in those like nets or something we could have got to, <laughs> to anything. Oh right. man, uh, fuck. I don't, okay. Turn um... back to the wooden steps and get to a higher position or go to the hoblum. <laughs> The Hoblin Hut and Guide. The Goblin Hut and Hide. Mm, uh, I think go up the wooden steps, because if we go all the way past the Goblin Hut, that other Goblin will rat us out. Oh, you're right. Well, I might see us Oh, anyway. shit. He sees us no matter what we do. We're screwed. You crouch down in the shadows, leaning in on the wooden posts. Goblin shrieks and curses echo through the chamber as a large number of the small creatures pass you down below in the darkness. It sounds as though they are grabbing the weapons and armor you saw earlier. You wait some moments before getting back to your feet. Continue up or lean over the walkway to see if the goblins have gone. Uh, let's continue up the stone steps. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Reaching the top of the steps, you can see a large goblin structure in front of you that has a dark, foreboding doorway. To your left, you can see a stone bridge that disappears into darkness. Crawl into the goblin hut in front of you or turn west and venture over the stone bridge. Let's go over the bridge. Ooh. Many ways. Make, well, I think this just leads back down. So, making your way across the narrow bridge, you look carefully over the edge, and apart from hearing the trickling of water from the depths below, darkness stares right back. <coughs> Feel strange. <laughs> oh no. 
burning up inside. <laughs> you reach a stone platform with another stone bridge leading from it, and two sets of stone staircases cut into the rock. The one to the south, you assume, leads back down to the armory. Out of the darkness across the bridge and coming up the steps, you suddenly see movement and gasp. Oh! oh! Is this just part of... I wonder if this might be a story thing. A large number of goblins are gathering on each of the structures moving towards you quickly. They appear armed with a variety of weapons with devious glints in their eyes. They begin to chatter and shriek excitedly, ready for their kill. <gasps> no, no, but the guy's gonna save us, I bet. Maybe. Old, old, old Nomi <laughs> wine pot. Maybe. Oh, what sorry, you this do is now surely in... my end. What will you do now in this moment of crisis? Goblins surround you, blocking all the stone bridges. Make a run for it down the steps to the south, make a run for it across the stone bridge, back down the stone steps, or make a stand and fight. Any more options? Oh, no. God. I... I... It might be best, because like, those are all going to be skill checks, right? It might be best to fight. Um... Oh, gosh. Fuck it, let's die. Fight. <laughs> You draw your weapon and ready yourself for what will probably be your final battle. <coughs> My legs feel so strange. <coughs> These creatures. This world. It feels too small for me. Are you gonna fucking hulk out? What is what is going on? What is go Everything is so are we like a changeling? Oh, I don't know. <coughs> Insignificant. Insignificant. Ooh. You're unsure why and how, but you suddenly feel a surge of confidence and stand tall. Your body burns, yet you feel no pain. Raising your arms in a sign of defiance, in your mind's eye, you sense a presence caressing your soul. A presence that feels very old with a heart of pure evil. It whispers oh, something oh no. to you, but you can't hear the words. Suddenly, you are no, <gasps> you are no longer Ophelia Lapwing. You are much more. Pure energy. Fire. The goblins gathered around you suddenly cower in fear as they witness your transformation. By the time your body is fully engulfed in flames, they've started to flee. Their action is useless, however, as your body explodes into a giant fireball, obliterating any goblins close by and sending others to fiery fates. What? Whoa. That's so what? cool. This is like the coolest one I've seen out of all of them. You oh, suddenly shit. feel the urge to run in some unseen... Some unseen elemental force propels you forward to, whether, to where you do not know and do not care. You are consumed with an anger you have not felt before and the need to destroy everything. Follow your new instincts. Dun, 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 like a dun, dun. demon or, I guess, fire elemental? I don't know. I, I, think, I think Zaldor or whatever took us over. I think, I think, we've, I think we up. were infected before this even began. Yeah. Our skills back up too. You move quickly into a new cave section that contains a large wooden structure and a stone bridge leading onto the darkness, on into the darkness below. You pause, sensing in your mind's eye that the presence you felt before is close, and it continues to whisper unknown words. The image of a huge dark shape with flame shooting from its nostril shimmers in your thoughts, and you have visions of a golden crown sitting on the head of the one you knew as Ophelia Lapwing. In an instant, the image is extinguished, and you feel the need to move forwards once again. Oh man, what's happening? Are we going to kill these guys? As you hurtle across the bridge into the next room, three large orcs turn to face you, each holding leashes connected to three very ugly-looking dogs. The dogs growl at your family flaming form while the orcs look on incredulously. Destroy them! Oh man, do we have new moves? Do you, do you what, think there's do? like... Do you think this is like our e demon powered-up form and the mechanic of this character is that you need to reach water every once in a while or you go crazy? I don't know. Oh man, I wish I knew what these uh, moves do. Um, okay, so fireball four is four damage. That would can I? Yeah, let's let's wait till there's more people. Uh, try your try your. Uh, yeah, I don't fucking know. Flame ore Where's does lance? in front of me and to the right. Flame lance is two ahead. Okay. Move move one to the right and then use lance when they get closer. Okay. Hmm. So flame. Whatever. Yeah. Get this guy. Someone's gonna move forward. Come on, a little bit better than that. Oh no. I still win. Fuck. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. All right. <laughs> They're all running into stuff. They're like, oh shit, man. Um, I'm going to do flame war. I, I, I assume guess he's blow going him up. To, I assume he's going to come forward. Maybe not. Okay. Well, he has to eventually. I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter. Just lance him now. Oh, yeah. Oh, everything has a cooldown. Okay. So I got to be yeah. careful. Oh. Oh, oh so it's just... One. Okay, so that's just a fire dealio. Okay, I have no. Yeah, now, I, can do. now I guess you gotta move. Oh shit! Yeah, fireball, blow him up. I think it's gotta be yeah. I think it only hits the square though. It's like oh. a diagonal thing only. I I might still try it. See what it does. 
No. Uh, I was I was hoping it would be like an AOE, you know, like a fireball, but uh. Sure. So he's probably gonna move, and I'm gonna come over here and be like, sup? And I'm gonna go for flame lance, lance again. That's pretty good. Oh god. Yeah, they're they're kind of hurting though. Um. I mean, aura, I guess. But, I, yeah, uh, I guess. All right, well, he's dead. Yeah, you don't just have a basic slappy. He's probably gonna move. Doesn't matter. Just blow him up. Fireball. Fuck. That's fine, because now my flame lance is back. At least the cooldowns aren't ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, he might, he might actually. Nope. Just nope. Barely. Jesus. God. <laughs> Everyone's on fire. The, the dog is just like, no thank you, uh, no thank <laughs> <Yeah>. you. <laughs> um, I, I'm content staying over here. Yeah, whatever. I'll just keep lighting everybody on fire. They, yeah, they literally can't beat you in clashes. No, nope. I've rolled you like start... really low, yeah. No, you, you can't lose. They start with five and you start with 11 and you have to roll more than zero, so. No, you're right. He's probably gonna move, so let's get him with the fireball. Yeah. All right, dog. Come here, doggy. <laughs> He's like, oh man, no, geez. Okay. Oh, gee. I can't oh, attack man. I can't attack that. Try lancing him. No, shit. Thanks for destroying that chair, bud. Where you going? Uh, yeah, just you know what? Yeah, because you'll probably. Oh no! <laughs> Get him! Move somewhere! Die! Christ! All right. Oh, well, you. They are all dead now. The last of the orcs falls into. I wonder if there's any way to prevent becoming this fire lady, or if that just happens. That's kind of the neat thing. Cause like maybe you can go a different route and see what happens, or maybe it's inevitable. I don't know. Uh, the last of the orcs falls into a smoldering heap, and you glance up to a hanging cage and see a man dressed in a white robe, sobbing uncontrollably. He does not appear to be a threat to you, so you quickly move on. Oh, jeez. Okay, bye, guy. See ya, idiot! The wooden bridge creaks and sways as your flames look across its surface. A fast-flowing river hurtles underneath you, cascading into a waterfall, which booms around the chamber and echoes down into the gloomy depths below. Bye, the goblins! Awesome. Jesus, alright. Jesus, god, yeah. Dog champ, yeah. no. Yeah, I wish, wish you had a little more HP. Yeah, me too. Can't rest anywhere. You can only rest at those benches. All right. Just fuck him maybe, up. Maybe Lance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, oh shit! Well, luckily Tenet, these no! are just goblins. Yeah, they're not too bad. I would just attack. Just wait for them to get near you. Yeah, we'll just. I mean, uh, fuck, you don't have a base attack. That's right. Yeah, so it's it's a little tricky. Yeah, don't. Yeah, play defensively. Can I? Oh, okay. Yeah. That works too. Yeah, Aura, because they might stay there. <laughs> yeah, these guys are weak. Uh, he's probably going to move forward, so. Yep. Time to die, motherfucker! They can't beat you. Maybe if you roll two sixes and I roll like two ones. Yeah, I, I, I guess, guess it, I forgot. It'd have to be like, guys. yeah, it'd have to be something crazy like that. Uh, I don't want to move because he's gonna would, attack. Yeah, me. I would just, I would just move left. He's like, oh shit! Fireball! Oh, oh cool damn it! Line, so. Yeah, all right. Damn. Aced. Gotta be real. Didn't see this coming at all. No, me no, neither. None of the other ones have a thing like this. At least the ones that I've tried. Um. You're just like a guy, and you fight stuff. The last of the burning goblins falls over the edge into the gloom below. A scream suddenly echoes around your subconscious, and you fall forward, collapsing on the ground. Okay, uh, get away from me, demon! Uncontrollably, you ro roll around in the body, smothering the flames that lick your body. Must regain control! Suddenly, the fire extinguishes, and you are Ophelia once more. Any remnants of the strange fire elemental that consumed your body has disappeared. What happened? What did I become? You get to, you get to you feet to check you have all your equipment. You Everything get to seems use me. Some foul sorcery is at work. I need to find some answers. You look around and probably this water. You look around and see some steps leading down into a pool of water. There's also a stone bridge extending further into the cavern. 
I, can we not walk back and talk to like the priest? All right, whatever. Uh, let's enter the water. I want to see if we can talk to the priest. Cautiously, you make your way down into the steps to the pool of water. The water twists and flows around you, being sucked along by the invisible pull of the waterfall underneath the wooden bridge behind. Aww. What? A crocodile. <laughs> yeah, sometimes shit just happens. Okay. Fuck. At least it's just one. Wimst. Why is there a crocodile here? Because it's like a and d There's just monsters everywhere. All right. At least, at least they're going to fight like normal now. Yeah, just keep... I don't know. Just fucking... Just get him. Too much damage, oh. nine. Pretty, pretty significant. Do a blind side. Ooh, this this one's pretty meaty. Oof, ow. Yeah. Oh, four. So like one more hit and I'm basically dead. We're gonna yeah. get fucking Oof. we find out we're possessed by a demon and get got by a crocodile. I thought going into the water would be a good That's idea. That's what I thought too, yeah, see? <laughs> That's how this fucking game is. Maybe ethereal faint to the south. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess your base attack is actually better. So then I can, if he moves forward, I forgot I can it just... gets. Yeah, I forgot it gets stronger when you do that. I'm just going to do. Because he, he can't move diagonally, so all he can do is, yeah, bam. Oof, all right. Okay, oh, you can get him, Keen. Just stay here. Just keep going. I mean, yeah, because he can't hit me from any weird. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> all right. Fuck, Fuck this that. crocodile. Can I relax in the water? The creature Please. rolls over dead, the water around you filling with a deep crimson. Something catches your eye in one of the strength. lower steps. Just let, of strength. let me rest! You decide to quickly get out of this pool just in case there are any more reptilians about. Okay. And you just dunk my guess... head in the water like once. A bench! Okay, I'm actually gonna Thank heal. Thank God! Alright, good. Yes, please. Let's let's fucking let's eat some dinner. Jesus. Yep, rest and consume for some provisions. You sit down. Yikes. Gives you 10 stamina back. So we're doing pretty good now. Okay. okay. Woo! So wait, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna go pee real quick. That's fine. Oh, shit. This is... I'm really enjoying this, actually. I'm glad. It's fun. I'm gonna All look right, at my inventory back. while you pee. So you can only have so many provisions. Okay, potion of strength. Mmm. Mmm. I wonder what the potion of strength does specifically. You having fun, chat? I'm having fun. It's much, much better with a... With a a driver or a second, you know what I mean? Somebody else. <laughs> we just woke this croc up and took its life. I mean, it it attacked, you know, so. Eh. Born under... Let's let's find out about Ophelia Lapwing. Born under a full moon in a clearing in Darkward Forest, there's something strangely ethereal about Ophelia Lapwing. Some folks okay, in the back. nearby... Oh, I was just reading her bio to see what she's up. She might be a fey folk or some sort of weird something. On Maybe fire. On fire. Um, we picked up a potion of strength. I don't know exactly what it does. Should we use it? Mm, not yet. Oh, yeah, save it. Okay, so we can creep around the corner or examine... Is there another thing? Do you see? Oh, jeez. My phone is being obnoxious. Can I see what... Okay, you decide to quickly get out of the pool. You reach the far side of the cavern. Another large goblin tower looms above you on the right. There's nothing else here of interest. Examine the tower or creep around the corner. Uh, I guess examine the tower. There's a crocodile in the tower! <laughs> you stand at the base of the tower. It looks very much like the one, the other ones you've seen in your travels through these caves. It appears to be unoccupied. Creep uh, climb and peer through a window so we can see what's coming up ahead of us. You clamber up the structure to the first window and poke your head through the opening. In the small room beyond, you can see a pile of goblin arrows in a small bow. There's also a small sack containing a random assortment of dried meat, which you could force down if pushed to starvation. Uh, All right, climb let's down get out of here. Around the corner. You stick tight to the wall of the goblin tower and peer around the corner. In the gloom behind you, you can see a huddle of goblins, around ten or so, chattering amongst themselves before walking away to the north. I should follow them at a distance, assuming I don't combust again. Creep northward and follow the goblins. You see, when I failed to become a debutante, my my rage <laughs> became it, it 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 burst into an earthly form, and and I became a human pyre. As my father says, I am inconsolable. Darting in and out of the shadows, you make your way up the passageway. Another stone bridge extends across a cavern, ending at a large wooden door, and you hear the trade tongue being. Sp 
The trade tongue being spoken in the room... Okay, whatever. In the room beyond. The goblins in front of you have disappeared from view. Continue north or walk across to the door. I don't want to walk into a goblin thing, so let's let's uh, walk across to the door. What the hell is the trade tongue? I don't know. Is it just like the fancy way of like merchant Bob speak? Men? I don't... Yeah. I guess. Uh, you voice. sneak across the bridge and reach the wooden door. It is slightly ajar with light streaming from the gap. You can hear loud voices coming from the room behind. You fool! Look at him! What have you done? Says a woman's voice. A male voice replies earnestly, I didn't mean to! It was an accident! No goblin weapon is worth the life of one of her own. Do you hear me? The woman shouts back. <laughs> Knock on the door, burst into the womb, to the womb, the, l -l 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 the room, or... Burst quite... into the room! Drama! Yeah? Yeah, fuck it. All right. <laughs> we just saved. Well, I'm just saying we sat there, so we can't resurrect there now. That's the trade-off. Oops, all right. But we kind of needed to because we were about to die, so. Uh, you pull open the door and burst into a room, weapon drawn. Inside you Inside you see a large cauldron over a blazing fire and two very shocked people in gray robes, dragging what appears to be a dead body, also dressed in gray. You're not, screams the woman. Who are you expecting? Goblins! She blurts out in shock. Trust me, I could have been something much worse than a goblin. Wink, wonk. The man and the woman drop the body and begin to raise their hands. Jaquil, encamp the spell of binding, now! Oh shit, she screams. Uh, uh kill Jaquil, fuck that guy. Okay. Attempt to strike down the robed man. You rush... just a wizard. Kill him! You're right. You you rush towards the robed man and notice a blue energy emanating from his fingertips. An arc of blue oh, flame crackles across the room, striking you in the chest. Muscles third your body spasm and you fall to the ground completely immobile, your head striking the cold stone. Minus one stamina. The two robed figures rush over to you, unsheathing small daggers. Ooh! Jaquil holds his weapon to your throat while the woman interrogates you. Who are you? Oh, and why God. are you here? She inquires sternly. Uh, I'm looking for the warlock. You come all the way into the godforsaken place just to seek him out? The woman asks quizzically. He won't give you the answers you seek. He'll simply toy with you before killing you. You try to wriggle free, but the magical binding has completely immobilized you. The woman continues. Struggle all you want. You're not going anywhere until Jaquil releases you. And maybe you and I should make the most of the situation. What do you say? I don't have much choice. <clears throat> the robed bleh, the robed woman goes on to explain that her name is Magira. Magira? An acolyte in training at the Magic School, which is located deeper in the mountain. Magira, Jaquil, and the unfortunate Edmund, who lies dead on the other side of the room, have been invoking a strange earth elemental magic from southern Alansia. This magic involves the creation of powdered creatures, a process whereby an animal can be reduced to a fine powder and brought back into existence with the application of water. That explains the exploding rats and the brown powder I found earlier. Uh, and how can I help you? Megir goes on to explain that the Master of Earth, one known as Robin of Orman, assigned them to create an army of giant rats for the goblin leader, Scarclaw. Rumor has it that Scarclaw has grown tired of the orcs gaining favor with Zagor, and wants to flush them out of the Firetop Mountain's tunnels using the rats, giving the Elemental Master a large share of the orcs' gold as payments. Magira and Jaquil realize that despite all their hard work over the last few months, they will receive no payment at all. And that's where you can help us, adventurer, says Magira. Revenge. It's always some kind of revenge. Why can't it be about the trees? <laughs> We've made enough powder to fill this whole goblin nest full of rats. You just need to dump the stuff in the underground river, preferably in the company of as many goblins as possible. Oh, shit. All right. That's kind of cool. So I need to get myself in a position of certain death first? Exactly, replies Magira. Magira crouches down, moving her face close to yours. So, do we have a deal? She asks politely. Yeah, all right. I mean, like, fuck these goblins. You have my word, it's a deal. Magical binding is quickly dispelled, and Jaquil straps two small sacks to your back. Just empty these into the water source, and the magic will take care of itself. I would also advise that you leave the area as quickly as possible after you've done the deed. Magira follows up. Just as you're about to leave, Magira says one final thing. Oh, and watch out for Scarclaw's baby dragon. Baby dragon. God damn. A damn. goblin managed to have a baby dragon. The odds just got even more interesting. I have a feeling that the... So, 
the the normal characters, at least the original four characters you can play as, just for free, don't have stuff nearly as interesting as this. I don't know if this is like a DLC thing or it's like as you go down the line to get more interesting stories, but like this is fucking dope. Glad you picked this one. Yeah. You return back to the pathway. Continue north. I, well, yeah. That's where Not all the goblins else. were going yeah. anyway, so. Uh, okay. To your left and right are two goblin structures. The one to your right, sitting slightly higher up on a ledge, has a small doorway you can crawl through. Continue north or investigate the hut on the right. Let's keep going north. We got, we got a mission. Oh, hey, Some guys. Goblins. How's it going? The rocky oh, pathway sure bends around to the left, and four large stone pillars loom out of the darkness over to the right. Our three orcs sitting they in a small fire. They have noticed you. I should dispose of those creatures quickly before I attract attention. Move in to engage. You're getting married. Yeah, if you can drink the uh, the potion mid-fight, now might be a good time to do it. Let's see. Because there's three of these guys, and they have a lot of health. They do. Uh, hmm. What? Oh, no. Don't want to do that. Okay. In the current game... Cancel. No, no. So yeah, there's. No. I guess my I can't access my inventory. So I guess uh, all right. I, we can drink it afterwards and kind of see what it does. Maybe it's a permanent effect, or maybe it's not. Yeah, let's. Uh, probably not. Let's. Yeah, I guess let's just attack that corner. Yeah, keep trying. Oh, that guy's smart. Yeah, he's a he's a bowman, so he oh, technically shit. doesn't need okay. to. Yep. Okay. Uh, what about? That figures. Oh. <laughs> Soon. Die! Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Uh, damn. Actually, I don't think he can hit me from right there, because he's a bow guy. So I'm going to so, take my chance and hit this guy. Attack him, I guess. <sighs> nice. Yeah, I should... Maybe get that bowman? God damn it. Oof. Fuck you, so Bowman. Silly. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's like, are are you gonna? So the, no, the no, I, I just, think just attack the Bowman because. Ha ha! Yeah. Sometimes God, they have so much HP. God, yeah, they're they, they are really nasty. Um, I could be hit by either because the Bowman can hit me from there, and it can't clash with both of them. Can I do um, um blindside? Can you? Yeah. Can you? Can't you sidestep with blindside or something? I fuck. <laughs> well. That's okay. Well, I mean, yeah, that worked okay. Oh, damn, they did pretty good. He's not gonna hit me from there. Get the corner! The corner! corner. <laughs> oh, come! <laughs> come now! What a genius maneuver! <laughs> okay. This is gonna keep happening. <laughs> oh, man, you, you are in some dire straits, my friend. So the bowman can't hit me. This guy can hit me, though. These guys. Yeah, I guess. He's, I he's guess gonna just... move, I think, so I'm gonna attack here. <laughs> what is fucking happening right now? Yeah, I guess just keep attacking that corner. Oof. Uh, top. You think Ethereal Fane, or should I blindside it, maybe? I, I think you should uh, attack, attack the guy directly north of you. Okay, so just... Nice. Good call. Give me some good numbers. That is good. Yeah, it's normally these battles go faster, but I have the weak front attack. Normally you do like three damage, and it's a lot yeah. faster. But I have all these other abilities. That's the trade-off. He's gonna go there. Nice. Blam. Fuck that guy. Uh... We're doing pretty fucking good for what our odds were at the start of this fight. Mm -hmm. Corner. Yep, corner. Bitch. Fuck that guy. He might move down, or you might fuck it. I, I would just, yeah, I would just keep attacking the corner, because either way, you're going to hit someone. Mm -hmm. Get that corner. Yeah, he's down. All right. I wonder if the AI is just being really nice to us. Sometimes. I guess I don't really care. You kind of yeah, just kind of just figure it out after a while. I'm going to move. Nice. Go for... Oh. Well, that's okay. If did, we have to do this one game, damage at a die? time... No. <laughs> did I? Oh, fuck. Oh, stream is loading. Well, I'm, I'm still doing all right. Um, he's probably going to move. Okay, yeah, stream's good. All right. He might move there. Fuck it. Let's just see what happens. Nope. Yeah. The final clash, maybe. 
a little bit better than that. Yeah, let me, uh, Whew. for for a second there, like, it almost looked like your connection cut, because both on Discord, like, on Discord, it just totally, uh... Uh, let me, here, we can... Yeah, yeah I, I think I'm... it's, I think it's recovering. I don't know what, I don't know what happened. Yeah, let's, uh... Oof, let me, let me, uh, give this a minute to, um, not recording at the same time. Yeah, I can see the stream is chugging behind where we actually are. Yeah, it's, uh... It totally froze for me over Discord as well, so I think your internet just went out completely for like four seconds, and now it's recovering. Okay, yeah, everything everything looks good. Is my computer heating up? No, not too bad. That's that's not it. The warlock did it. Okay. Yeah, I think it was just internet. Okay. I mean, that's did you fine. did you ace that fight? Yeah, no stamina loss. Nice. Six souls. Good job. Last orc falls and you quickly survey the area. Apart from the small fire, the orcs had very little on them. You do find some chunks of meat, though, most likely a rat, that you could eat if desperate. That might be useful if I run out of provisions. Uh, yeah, let's check the goblin tower if we can. Oh, yeah, I guess it's just a click to continue, isn't it? I was checking the stream to make sure everything's good. Yeah, yeah well, climb, good. climb that ladder. Climb that ladder. Oh, I'm feeling feverish. Blech! God. You haul yourself up the ladder and reach a rocky platform. This looks like another sentry point, judging by the scattered table and chairs along with the lookout tower. Ooh, it is getting kind of stormy outside. How foreboding. You know when it gets, like, green outside? Like, that kind I of I love stormy. that. That's, like, my so favorite cool. weather. Yeah. So hopefully the internet doesn't go out. That would really suck. <laughs> Blast stream and the internet goes out. Uh -huh. Strange. This uh, I keep making a British for no reason. Strange. This place seems so deserted. I think I think like Southern is sort of like descended from British. I've heard that. I don't know how true it is. That doesn't um, seem right. I don't know. Looking around into the gloom, you see a large stone bridge disappearing into the darkness behind you and looking down. The pathway below continues into another room. Something shiny appears to be glinting at you in regular intervals. Uh, perhaps I could climb up the tower and attempt to reach the bridge. So, look at the light, or go to the Goblin Tower. I, I'm having a hard time visualizing what the surrounding is. Uh, Can I... Climb, climbing down seems dangerous. Oh, no, I don't want to climb the ladder. Wait. Oh, well, looks I like just, we I, climb I wanted to see if I could kind of... Move around, yeah. Okay, no, because this is the ladder we climbed out of. Okay, so this is all right. Let's, let's look up the Goblin Tower. So, yeah, this is what we're looking at. Okay. That's handy. Goblin Tower. So, you have to try it up here. All right. Yeah. You easily find foot and handholds in the side of the tower due to the ramshackle way has been constructed out of old pieces of driftwood. On reaching the roof, you are easily able to scale the rock wall behind, pulling yourself up onto the stone platform above. You suddenly feel a rush of cold air and hear the sound of large red- Oh, fuck. Bats! A young black oh, dragon no. it raises its head, swings it around in an arc, and from its mouth expels a cloud of poisonous purple fumes. While you're not close enough to be impacted by the gas, the acrid taste in your mouth tells you that you don't want to get much closer. Stand your ground or run across the bridge. I mean, we don't want to stand our ground. We'll die, right? Mm. It's a fucking dragon. So I think it's a baby dragon. I think it's maybe just... this is the baby dragon. Yeah, baby. but like, it's so still run... a dragon. Yeah, so run across the bridge. Fuck. Once more, you hear the flapping of leathery wings as the dragon launches itself into the air behind you. The shadow passes overhead as you approach the center of the bridge, and the bulky black form lands heavily on the end of the bridge, blocking the way forward. Oh, fuck. Uh -oh. It snarls and growls, unfurling its wings in an aggressive stance. Oh, boy. <laughs> if there was a good time to become that fire thing, now would be that time! Hey! Uh oh, okay. Fuck yeah! Once again, you feel the prime of blah, 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 blah. Uh, you feel a primeval Fighting energy. A dragon. Yeah, fuck it, let's fight it. America. Right. Well, I guess let's just oh, hide behind yeah. this rock and keep po poking it. Or maybe we want to move one to the left so we can spear it. Oh, shit. It could hit me from all the way over there. Yeah, m move back behind the rock. <laughs> Yikes. That makes sense. Doesn't do yeah, a lot of damage. But uh, I hmm. can we can we do anything here? I'd have to kind of wait. Yeah, flame, keep keep fireballing, I guess. We just gotta wait. God, I, I wish I could just. Am I am I missing? Is there just a way to just stay here? 
I guess not, because something happens every turn. Maybe attack attack north because or flame aura because that'll uh that'll break the rock, and I think that counts as a move. I don't think it can break this rock. I think it's like a permanent rock. Okay. Alright, well. I so guess I can uh, do flame lance to here, or I can yeah. do Um Do do the aura. You're not gonna come any closer, are you, guy? Hmm. Well, we'll see. I keep camping out here for a little while. Yeah, because we don't want to. We don't want to fight this thing. Really, 16 stamina. That's rough. I think I'm. Oh, I have yeah, to. We, move. We, ha we have to move. We have to move. Well, I would. I would move again. Don't think I should flame more. No. Try and fireball it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That helps. Okay. So now try and flame aura, because you might end up hitting it if it wa Oh, well, you can. All right. Dang. Flame lance left then. Oh, yeah. D just so flame aura, I guess. Flame aura. He running. Yeah, he's oh, running. Okay. He's taking that Maybe burn now... damage, though. Yeah, I don't hmm. fucking know. Uh, I'm happy being behind this rock, so I just kind of... I can BS this. He has to come back eventually. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's, let's, uh, let's BS it. BS... Luckily, burn helps us out. Now we gotta move. We might be fucked. Hmm. Okay, just two. That could be a lot worse. Move back! Or, or flame aura. Yeah, we, we've got pretty good skill. Nice. See, so yeah, we could probably beat now it hide. And just... No, hide. Because it's burning. This is the. We're cheesing this fight. This is, these are the strats. Can you fireball Move that back. spot? Yeah! 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 Die, you shitty dragon! Four stamina could have been much worse. Only two souls from a black dragon? Pish. Fuck that. With your final burst of fireballs, the juvenile dragon collapses into a smoking heap, its tongue lolling, lol, from its vast lol, jaw, lol. lol, lol, and poisonous fumes escaping from its nostrils. Okay. Anyway. I was, like, I was like, oh, did the game freeze? I'd have been fucking pissed. Energy expended, the flames dissipate, and you collapse to the ground. Wisps of smoke and ash swirling around your body. The evil presence disappears back into your subconscious. After a few moments, you get back to your feet and take in your surroundings once more. I'm beginning to feel in control of this thing. I think. Below you, under the bridge, you can suddenly hear the screams and shouts of goblins and orcs. You think you can hear the name Scarclaw being repeated over and over again. I feel like I'm getting close to escaping this goblin nest. Is that a bench? It is a bench. Uh, down the stone steps. That's all I can do. See yeah, can... let's let's not heal. I'd rather save at this bench. Okay. Be nice to have a save point somewhere. These these I guess uh, sort of are. You just can't rest. It's, it's mean. Uh, so we okay. can climb the ladder, which would go up, or we can go up along this ledge to the right. Um, let's climb the ladder because we might want to. Wait, hang on. Uh, can you can you look around? Yeah, I can't scroll like, up or anything, but this is. Damn, I wanted oh, to wait. see if we could scroll. Oh, up. I can. Yeah, uh, cause I think we're gonna want to pour the rat stuff into the waterfall, so let's go up. I guess we could do it either way. This is but... dope. I didn't know you could do this. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay, I've I'm... reached the ladder. So yeah, it's up to yeah, you. maybe go up. Oh, I'm Whoa. getting a case of that. Oh, hi. Well, that makes sense. Hey, guys, how's it going? Yeah, fight the goblins. There's, there's some goblins here. The baby dragon right, tried to well. fight us first. We have not started a single fight here. Everyone has tried to kill us first. I mean, yeah, not, not much else to do here. Blap. Just, I love just keep going, sad. I guess. Oh, wait, he'll... Yeah, fuck. Oh, shit! Oh no! Because they like to be sneaky and do diagonals. Bye. Okay. Do the diagonal. Keen, they couldn't have moved to that spot. You're right. Yeah, you're dead. He's like, oh shit! Eh. He's probably gonna move. Get him anyway! Attack him! I don't know why they want to attack diagonal. You're gonna go that way, you bitch. Yay! 
With the goblins taken care of, you look around the platform. Two large goblin towers rise up out of the pools. Water behind you, which drain into waterfalls that cascade down the cavern walls. You peer over the edge and can see a gathering of goblins below. Come Too many on. to count. They seem to be gathered around a rocky island that juts out into the cavern. Something or someone is apparently holding their attention. Oh no. <laughs> Feeling strange again, hack. <laughs> Powder into the water. Maybe I could organize an army of giant rites to suddenly appear. Yeah, do it. Rats! <laughs> You're about to follow through with your idea when you once again feel the presence of the dark force that has been accompanying you. It whispers your name, and in moments, your body is aflame, and you instantly submit to the unseen entity, powerless to resist. Fuck. No! We're right here! The goblins below all look up in unison, watching as a glowing figure lights up the roof of the cavern, flames licking the, roo the rocky roof. You hear the screams of confusion as they begin to as, as you begin to ascend. God damn it! <laughs> no! Why?! You dive into the pool, sending poor creatures running for their lives. Some clamber up the wall, some disappear back down the path, and some prefer to throw themselves over the edge into the waterfall. Your fiery form lights up the cavern, and you turn to look at the platform. You can see a huddle of goblins with spears drawn, protecting someone behind them. The fearsome Scarclaw. Yeah, why not just have the fucking rats? Yeah, that would have been way cooler. Okay. Fine, I guess. <laughs> As you step off the bridge, you pass glowing braziers. Bernie, I mean, I guess if the, um... If the warlock is in charge of you, maybe he doesn't want you killing all of his goblins. I guess if that's who it is, I don't know who else. I don't. Be. I don't really know. I don't really know who's in charge of this. Uh, who's in charge of these goblins and who's allied with who? I guess it doesn't matter. I think. I think the warlock rules over everyone, and then there's other things going on. Um, in the far corner of the room, surrounded by bones under the debris, is a large throne sitting next to an open pit that contains a large fire. This is obviously some form of throne room, an area where the so-called goblin king holds court. The goblins on seeing your fiery majesty suddenly drop their spears and run past you into the darkness, knowing they have no chance against your might. This leaves the fearsome Scarclaw defenseless. Fuck yeah! I guess you know what would have been more interesting is fucking... They have spider legs? Is he riding a spider? What is this? What, the, what in the goddamn... Oh yeah, he's riding a spider. That's cool. Can you spear him? Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> he's on a web! Are we stuck? Oh, are we Can stuck? Can we flame that off? Flamora? Wait, can we move? What, what, what are the rules? We can't move because we're webbed. Oh, right. oh I think, no. I think, I think we might just lose. Oh, okay. Just last Yeah, now, now we can move. Get out of here. Yoink. Okay. Fireball. Or that. I might, uh... Lance. Yeah, oh, if you can attack across these things. Good to know. Uh, so he's probably gonna move that way. So what? No, oh. <laughs> he's moonwalking. Fireball up. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I would just move away, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let the burn then... take him. Maybe we probably get. No, him. no, M move away. Now, now, fireball diagonal if you can. No. One more turn. Yeah. Try, try flame ring. I want to see if you can light these braziers on fire. Hmm. No. Maybe now, cool fireball. Though. Yeah, now I can fireball. Oh, we win. Okay. Yeah, cool. That worked out. You know what would have been better? Rats. Rats! Yeah, an army of rats! That's such a cool, like, fucking thing. Defeat of the Goblin King. Click. Fuck. No. No, sorry. <laughs> no, you haven't. You stand victorious. Scarclaw and his arachnid mount are dead. You once again collapse to the floor. Flames extinguished in an instant. The whispering has stopped and you feel yourself once again. All right. I need to find out why this is happening to me. I can't keep going like this. You know, you could just do the rats now anyway. <laughs> Why not? In the distance, you hear the shrieks of goblins who are most likely fleeing these dark tunnels. With their leader now dead, the remnants will likely scout and reform, choosing a new leader in time. Well, this feels like a small victory. You know that this is really just the start of your journey. The start of our journey? How long is this? What? <laughs> what? I have more questions now than I did before I entered this accursed place. I need to find the warlock. Do, 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 do. Turn back oh, to the Oh, all right. Oh, I was hoping it like, maybe well, let me go back to that bench. Well, if I die, I guess I'll go back there. I think yeah. you have to redo all of this, though. That's, like, also the thing. Like, yeah. Yeah, I would imagine. So. All right, let's just go east, because we can't do anything else. Hopefully there's no more fucking goblins. Now the goblins have run off into the darkness. The cavern is eerily silent, apparent from the continuous sound of the waterfall behind you. 
After a short while, you reach a raised stone platform that appears to be full of bones and other debris. <sighs> Whatever, let's look at it. <laughs> you just wanted the rats, didn't you? I, uh, I yeah, I feel rats. a little cheated, to well, be honest. Yeah, no, that's fair. Whoever's controlling us is a fucking dick. Um, you sift through the bones and other rotting detritus. You find detritus. some old detritus? Detritus. Supposes, erroneously. Which most likely belonged to your previous adventures, like yourself. You find a number of items, including a potion of fortune, a Y-shaped stick, a silver bell, and some old stale cheese. Do I get to take any of that? Or is it? I assume we took all of it. I hope so. I want to see. Okay. Cool. Um, Ocean of Fortune can't use it. Got that strength one though. Still, can can you just use provisions at any point? <gasps> you can. Ah, that makes this a lot easier. You're uh, right. Thanks. I never thought to try that. Can <laughs> I did it because I was like because I was. You're right. <laughs> All right. Um, I have no excuse. You cross uh, the bridge think? and come. What do you think, room. chat? This yeah. is a this is an indifferent choice for me since it's nothing. So you can go north or go uh, east. Yeah, or which, which way do we want to go? Press one for north. Press two for east. Next, fight the Rat King. Why would we fight the Rat King when we can be the Rat King? That's what I'm saying. Okay. Got one for um, east. Got some mostly north. Got some easts. It's it's fairly even split. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip a flip a coin. Heads or tails? Head, heads for north, I guess. Sure. All right, uh, east. You die. Okay, okay. It would be lame. Oh, hi. Stone dodo birds. You climb Stodos. up two... I guess, I kind of look at them. You climb up two steps... Two sets of steps before finally encountering a large room. A sheer rock face stands before you with a goblin tower looming down ominously from above. Turning, you see what look like two very large bird-like statues. Between them, a stone bridge leads off into the darkness. I guess look at the statues. The statues. You look closely at the statues. They appear to have been carved out of the rock itself and appear like ostrich-like birds with hooked beaks, stubby wings, and wide clawed feet. From your education, you're pretty sure that these are flying guardians, usually erected to watch over tombs of importance in the northern province of Zhang Mai. You also know these can come to life, protecting their domains. Mm. Okay. As you step onto the bridge, you hear the sound of stone crunching against stone and the two bird-like I... statues turn to face you they open their stony beaks and da 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 so to fight them i'm not sure these flying guardians will be able to fly look at those wings okay <sighs> let's see what their weird attack pattern is the guardians of the mountain the dodo birds this is strange um that's tough for these guys eight okay that's that could be worse luckily we have full stamina we um do. I learned that you can eat. Um, yeah, man. I mean, this game was this game is a lot harder if you don't eat. I'd move like I'd move left or right. What the? Uh oh, is Did that the magic? Go up. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I assume, and he takes up like can a you, four by four square. So can you chunky. can you faint him to hit him? Okay, Whoa. so you can hit in front of him and to the right. That's one of his attacks. I would just attack and hope he moves forward. Hmm. Maybe at maybe attack diagonal, because you can hit him diagonal. I guess yeah, you're supposed to use their size to their advantage. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe maybe hit the top bird now so you can clash with it. Oh. That was a tie, so it's fine. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. I, yeah, I would just do that again. Oh yeah, you can take advantage of that. Yeah, just, I guess just kill it. Yeah. Ow. Oh. oh, it's because it's bigger, I bet. That's why. Oh. I guess what, so whenever it moves, I think it gets that shield. Let me, uh, you know what? Ethereal faint works no matter what. Let's try it. Okay, cool. All right, now, yeah, now I'll just diagonal this fucker. Is he chunky? Yeah, Weird. when they move, I think they get that shield. Okay. 
All right, you can keep diagonaling him though. Fuck it. Yeah, I can. All right. I think I only took one one stamina. Not bad. You defeated the flying guardians. Last, the guardian crashes to the floor, turning immediately to rock and shattering on impact. You breathe a sigh of relief. It appears that the last obstacle is out of the way, and you cannot move across the bridge to the mountain. I'm so glad I found out you can eat, because because it's like, yeah, it's way harder. That's hard mode. I've been playing on hard mode this whole time. They didn't know I could eat. <laughs> you cross the bridge and enter a narrow gully in a rock wall. Squeezing through a tight gap, you find yourself in a long, rocky corridor that heads towards the east. Another path runs north through an archway held up by two pillars. Continue north, or follow the passage to the east. Well, we appeased the eastwards last time, so let's go north this time. Now we're in a tomb for oh. some reason. <laughs> you walk across the passageway and gasp at the sight you discover. Directly in your path is a large pair of wooden doors carved to look like a menacing fanged mouth. A simple sign ahead reads, Speak the magic words. As soon as you begin to approach, you startle a nearby lizard. It... Oh, hi, Siri. Why'd you turn on? <laughs> I am a lizard. I am a lizard. It darts off towards the doors. They spring to life as though controlled by magic. They lift and drop dangerously, and the lizard tries to zip through them. The door crushes... The doors fall and crushed flat. Aw. I don't want to end up like that lizard. I need to think about this carefully. So what? you can see Can't... here, hold up. So at some point, we could have gotten this. Don't know where, but that's just like a thing. I mean, I guess try a magic word. I don't want to, like, I would turn around, but that's never an option in this game. So try a magic word, because we're not going to try and sneak past them. You stand uh... in front of the hungry doors and speak. Wouldn't it be, this is like, the magic word is magic word kind of thing? That's very silly. I'm I'm I always like a fan of that. Yeah! <laughs> it says, speak the magic words, and you speak the magic words. Ha ha. Oh, hey. Uh, hungry doors stop moving. You walk through the corridor. However, as you approach, they begin to come crashing down on top of you. You leap out of the way, and they graze you as you make it through. Oof. Oh. Well, I can eat, so it's fine. I don't have to rest. Why would you? I guess you get more back if you rest than if you eat. Yeah, so I would. I would just use. I would just keep walking because yep. we don't want to. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is a good point to come back to if we have to. Several okay. meat trees. Oh, this is like the European way. Meat Yeah. It's just. It's just uh, British. The French, British. Yeah. Of the passageway, you arrive at a junction where you may turn either east or west. Uh, let's go west. Yeah, see, we haven't done. Every yeah, time. we haven't done west yet. No. Okay, there's more. You walk westwards along the passageway. As you approach a door at the end of the passageway, a large rat scurries in front of you. And you hear a crumbling noise. The ground beneath the rat begins to give way, sending it into the pit below. That could have yeah, get, easily get been out of here. How lucky. Safely leap backward. That luck. You manage to leap quickly backwards as a pit opens up beneath you. The pit is about two meters deep, and you should be able to lower yourself into it easily. I'll go back to the junction or go into the pit. Why would I Why would I want to do that, though? Uh... I don't know. Hmm, I Adventure. think we should... Let's return to the junction. Okay, so head east. Some bookshelves over here. Yeah, the passage turns to the left and a wooden door trimmed in iron sits in the east wall. Various inscriptions adorn the door, but none makes any sense to you. You listen, but hear nothing. Open the door or go uh, Let's follow the passageway. I don't I don't open no D&D &D doors with magic <laughs> letters on them. Yep. You follow the passageway to the north at the end of it. There is a door leading northeast. The passageway also continues west. So go up uh, here. Let's, let's, go that way. Hello, it's north and east. Let's do it. Oh, hi. You open the door with some difficulty. Gusts of wind breeze past your face as you enter and the door slams shut behind you. Interwin must be the home of a master of air, a sorcerer who dabbles in the arcane lore from the elemental plane of air. Our tornado surrounds the room and fire spouting from the braziers dance in the wind. A variety of papers also flutter and flap in the breeze. A master of elements? I wonder if she could help me with my condition. You walk over to who you assume is the master of air. A pet hawk is perched on her arm and she wears a pair of fine glasses. Where the fuck would we have gotten this? She agreed to Maybe you. In, one of the, in one of the goblin huts we didn't go into. Maybe, yeah, you never know. She greets you. Ah, another would-be adventure comes to destroy Zagor. I don't really bother with adventurers, but the maze should finish you off. She pauses. Unless you know anything about a bronze amulet dedicated to the cult of Bob... Bobir... Bobati. Bo Boborius. You have no business here. Uh, at least I guess leave. we leave. Okay. Damn. Oh well. At least she didn't fucking kill us. 
Heading west down the passageway, you find that it turns north again. Further down the passage, there is another door set at the top of some stone, of some stone steps. It has a large frame scratched into the wood. Oh, we're a fire person. Yeah, we, we gotta go up there, because we're a fire person. What's what's up, fire person? Do go we... up to the door. Yeah, okay. I was making sure that was the right door. Okay. Cautiously, you climb the stairs upwards. You open the door and are immediately hit in the face by a blast of heat. I've, yes, I've certainly come to the right place. Die. There's no doubt that you've entered the home of a master of fire. A large flaming sphere rises in the center of the room, clearly the source of the master's power. Suddenly, two huge creatures pound towards you. They are monstrous lizard-like beasts, their scales shining and shimmering from all the flames across their bodies. They sweep their huge tails left and right, knocking over pots and spellbooks. These are salamanders, creatures constructed entirely from fire magic. Fire needs to fight fire, I think. Really, that's usually not a good idea. <laughs> as soon as those words enter your head, you hear the whispering. It grows in intensity, and in your mind's eye, you can hear the snapping of a whip. As a dark form embraces you, flame instantly licks up your body. Do we have to fight these guys, or is this guy going to be... Yeah. I was hoping you'd be like, wait a minute, no! All right. I think that's a statue. Is, is that him? Oh, yeah, I guess, I guess we're fighting him. Oh, damn. I don't want to fight him. Well, he doesn't have any health, so maybe not. Yeah, I think he's just a gnome statue. All right, well, let's uh, get, let's fight these salamanders, I guess. Going to get hit by one no matter what, I think. Yeah. If they both move forward, though, then doing the aura would be really smart. Hmm. Don't know what their abilities are. What I do mean, you think? I, I don't... You don't want to get trapped, right? No, I don't. Uh... So I can move, if I move forward, so if they attack forward, I'm going to get hit if I move forward. If they're going to, like, slide to the side and be all sneaky, like, that would be good, but I don't know. Yeah, I would move, I would move either down or up. Oh, I'm immune, so I take less damage. Good. Yeah, get, no, 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 don't attack. Uh, move, yeah, move there, because they can both hit you each turn, and that's bad. Ow, God. Okay. All right. It's fine. Now, now kick this thing's ass. He's probably going to move. Who cares? Get him! Yep. Yeah, he's a moon. A moon. A moon. Oh, okay. They don't have a lot of health, though, so that's good. They don't. They're just flame lancing. Just. just have to. Uh, fire. I don't know. Yeah, move. Fireball. I mean, if he attacks you that way, if he attacks on a diagonal, it does two. Uh, otherwise, you only take one. So, yeah, I would. Uh... Oh, nothing happens. <laughs> cool. Just flame aura, maybe? He might move. Yeah, he's gonna. Now he's probably gonna move again. You, but yeah, you I wanna can get flame lance here. Fuck. No. Yeah, you wanna get out of the diagonals because that does more damage. Yeah, that would have done four. Mm. Yay! Okay. Lance him. Oh shit. They have pretty high skill. Mm -hmm. Oh yikes. Oh yikes. Maybe move up. Yeah, just to, like recharge. Then move move up again. Fuck this guy. Wait, you can move into the desk? I think it would probably shove me back to this. So if I don't want to I mean, move. Yeah, sure. Go oh, for it. Wait, I can attack the desk. Why would hmm. Do I No, I don't want to piss this guy off if that's an option. Yeah, now Lance, maybe Lance downward. I guess he's going to attack on a diagonal, but you never know. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I, yeah, I don't know. Move move left, maybe? I'm hope. Because he's going to... Okay, no, all right, cool. Yeah. I was hoping he couldn't do, like, a through-the-fire attack. Um, yeah, move left again. All right, now you can Lance him. Oh fuck! Damn. Yeah, you can't clash against these guys. They 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 got too much. They're rough. I gotta roll really high. The cult. The cult you should items. you should move forward. At worst, he does one damage. Yeah. Fire He's fireball move that way. So. All right. I just need to get like one one hit of anything on him. I yeah. I would I would just move down again. Yeah, because he's gonna go for a diagonal. That's the trick. He's probably gonna move diagonally or backward. Uh, flame... Can they move diagonally? Uh, or I guess he's gonna move lance. down to get a diagonal use, on me. Or... Use flame lance. Okay, yeah, you're right. Whew. Fuck that fight. 
That's the most I think I've lost in a fight. Defeat wow, the fight. Yeah. I can eat some food. I got. I have tons of food, so I'm good. Uh, with your finishing move, the last salamander gives a guttural roar, and its fire extinguishes. It stops moving and turns grave and explodes into ash. You also quickly extinguish and collapse to the floor, returning once more to Ophelia Lapwing. Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> I might not like it, but I feel like I'm gaining some control over this ability. An old man in red robes who is standing in the corner of the room runs towards you. He's clearly angry. What do you think you're doing? It took hours to conjure those beasts. Hours! You apologize, but insist that it was in self-defense. I can't just have a fire demon dance into my room and destroy all my hard work. Fire demon? Did he just call me a fire demon? Those creatures usually dwell in the abyss. How could I be one of them? You can ask him. Oh no, have I forgotten my memory? Who knows, says the Master of Fire, sensing your thoughts. Perhaps you're here visiting our corporeal realm. Anger wells up in your chest. I am no fire, D. You start, <laughs> D, you start to say, but the master turns his back on you and reaches into a display case. Here, he toss, he says, tossing you a rolled up piece of parchment. Read this. It talks of your kind. It, it bursts into flame. This guy's racist. You unfurl the scroll and read the contents. It mostly deals with lesser demons, of which the classic fire demon is one. They generally carry a whip and shoot streams of fire from their nostrils. There's a fly in my room well, bugging me. This confirms the strange presence that whispers to me when I turn, but it does not explain why I am turning. The master carries on with his valuable work. With no more business here, you take a fire vial on your way out. He has dozens of them. I'm no fire demon, but something isn't right, and I need to get to the bottom of it. Should, should eat some rats. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it'll let me eat the rat, but it yeah, will maybe, let me. Yeah, maybe just use two. Or, yeah, I guess, actually, you're pretty weak, aren't you? Two is good. Four yeah, teams yeah, are nice. We should, yeah, we should be fine. We still have that. Potion of Fortune does nothing as of now. Yeah. Ignore. Following the passageway north ends in another door. The passage veers east from here. Uh, How do we... Is it door? Is the door... Yeah, go up the door. Right there. I don't like yeah. the cracks in the floor to the east. What's up, guy? The door opens into a long, thin room with two alcoves. It is comfortably furnished with a table. Several chairs and large bookcases cover the walls. Seated at the table is an old man with a long gray beard, and squatting on the old man's shoulders is a small winged beast. The creature is no more than two inches tall. It has uh, uh, bleh, bleh. it has two arms and legs, its skin a dusty gray color. It has tiny, sharp white teeth, and its wings are folded behind its back, like a little gremlin. Yeah. Well, it's a picture. I wonder if this fellow. Oops, that's you. Sorry. I wonder if this fellow knows why I keep turning, keep turning into a human fireball. Yes, I do. Uh, excuse me. The old man says nothing as you walk in through the door, but he beckons you over to sit down at the table. He oh, has God. in his hands okay. two small white objects. Oh boy, got a lot of options. Okay. Uh. Whoa! Oh, oh, whoa! Um. Okay. Okay. I was like, oh no. Uh, let's let's sit down. Let's be pleasant. Okay. Eh. He took a seat at the table. The old man does not look up at you, but his devilish little pet eyes you suspiciously and starts chattering in a small, squeaky voice. The old man grunts. So, are you interested in the game? Two gold pieces. Will you accept? Yeah, okay. You do have a lot of money. Very well, he says. Your girl gold first. You, ha you hand over your gold pieces. Minus two gold pieces. These dice are magical, says the old man. I took them from a merchant in Port Blackstand when I found he was trying to swindle me. I also took his life. He gives a wheezy chuckle. The game is simple. We start with the number one. Then I shall roll the dice three times, and each time their total will increase. Your job is simple. Tell me the fifth number in the sequence. Hmm. Okay. Ready? He grins, and quick as a flash rolls the dice three times. One, okay, nine, wait, twenty. I'm... It's a math question. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good at these, but it will take me a minute. That's okay. Um, okay. It's... Hang on. So 1 to 9, 25, 57. 57 is a weird number to have there in the fourth slot. Um, second. 1, 9, 25, 57. Uh... 
I was going to say they go up by I, like I 8, 16, 24, but I don't think that's right. Because like 1 to 9 is 8, 9 to 25 uh, is 16, but 25 okay, it's, to 57. Uh, it's the it's uh the difference between them is eight sixteen and then um thirty two so it it's like doubling every time so it's it's one twenty one. Correct, grumbles the old man, sweeping up the dice and pocketing them in his hand. He throws you a bag of gold pieces. Your winnings. How do we go Whoa. from ten to two or, or two to ten? Well, see, ten is the next number in the sequence. You're right. All right, all right, you've had your fun. The old man seems most displeased. If you're so clever, then perhaps I'll see you deeper within the mountain. He shuffles over to the bookshelf, touches a book, and vanishes through a secret doorway that opens for him. Achievement unlocked. Oh. Beat the librarian at his own game. See you soon, adventurer. You hear his laughter echo through the past secret passage, which seals shut behind him. Okay. All right. I mean, I don't well, really I see what gold is for, but neat it's stuff like that. Um, and and one of the other ones, there's like a river, and you can pay like a ferryman to take you across because it's like a dangerous river. But that's like the safe way. Head east. There's just stuff like that. Tempted to see what this potion of strength does. Like, would it increase your skill or stamina? Is it a temporary? Buff? I I have to imagine it ups your attack for probably one battle. Maybe. Um. Passage Maybe, waiting. you know what, fuck it. We're, we're never going to get to use it if we don't just use it. So let's just use it and see what happens. All right, well, I guess we'll find out. I think it got my stamina back up to 19. So it wasn't full okay. before. All right, that's whatever. weird. Eh. All right. Yeah, because it was 14 and I'm up to 19. So I guess that's all it was. Strange, yeah. That's a weird thing to call it. I would definitely call that a potion of health, but sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the passageway ends at a stone staircase, which you climb. You find yourself in a large square room. The room is completely bare, but the floor is covered in a mosaic of tiles. Oh, mm. God. All right. It's just, like, the only game I've ever played <laughs> with illustrations like this is Tomb of Horrors and Tomb of Horses, <laughs> so... That's right. Two shapes stand out on the floor. Star-shaped tiles and hand-shaped tiles. A door on the opposite wall is the only way through. Walk across the room to the door. Walk across the room stepping only on stars or stepping only on hands. Oh, there's no way to know. There's this weird, uh, like, over here, it's kind of separated. Yeah, there's a there's a gap there. Um, and this hand here is upside down. This is this one. So do you have to kind of, like, I uh, like kind of follow the hands? I have, I have no idea. Um, Can I zoom in on this? No, I can't. No. Uh, I mean... No, it's like, uh... Can you kind of follow the hands up? I'm seeing if there's, like, a pattern. Yeah, the... The hands are more noteworthy to me. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, chat? Yeah. Decide our decide our fate. One for stars, two for hands. Uh... Might take them a second. I think the stream is actually like kind of far behind where we are. So I'll give him I'll give him a minute. Because hand means stop. That's what I thought. Like, because it's like a you know, what is two? Um, one 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 was. Yeah, one was star, two was hands. Um, I'm I'm feeling star, even though I feel like that's wrong. All right. The, the iconography for me would say star. Oh, safely mad. You were right. You got magic feet. Achievement unlocked. Safely navigate through the tiled room. Nice. Okay. Thanks, chat. All right. <laughs> I was leaning towards hands, so I'm glad it was. <laughs> we didn't pick hands. Soon arrive at a junction. Head west or north. North. You continue north until you reach a junction. Enter the door to the north, so this one, or go northwest. Just up the can I can I see what it looks like if you get rid of the menu? You can go kind of like, yeah, there's a door. Uh, there's some there's some scary eyes over there to the right, so I'm gonna say let's go up. I think they're always there. They're all like, they're very scary, Keen. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're going going up to the steps, I guess. Steps. Yeah. You can suddenly hear the rushing of water in the distance. You have a feeling that you're moving into a new section of the mountain. Keep climbing. Oh, all right. Yep. After a long climb, you reach the top of the stone steps. The air feels damp, and you have to be careful not to lose your footing on the wet stone. Sandy path lies before you. Okay. Okay, I think... I think I've been here before. The path opens to a chamber. Um, also covered in sand, it appears a little more than a junction in the tunnels. There are two possible exits here, one leading to a cave in the southwest and a passageway widening to the northeast. There's also a small alcove to the west, but it appears to be blocked by a solid rock wall. Um, 
I guess let's let's not go into the spider cavern. So I guess it's northeast. Fuck, I don't know. Some kind of. So we can go up this way, or yeah, I'm yeah. trying to like <laughs> up that way. I don't want to go over there because there's yeah these these are clearly things we'll have to fight. Um, yeah, I don't want to fight anything right now. Yeah, I, I try to when I play, I try to fight as little as possible. Okay, now I guess I haven't been here before because this is different. Um, the passage runs northwards, and ahead you can hear the splashing of, of an underground river. The air becomes cool and fresh. You soon reach a wide opening of a riverbank where the water churns as it passes between an unevenly spaced line of rocks that look like they might reach across the other side. So yeah, we have this. Don't really need to use it right now. Um, oh, I guess check out the water's yeah. edge. That's the only option. Yeah. yeah. There appear to be two ways you can go from here. You could either try to cross the river using the irregularly spaced rocks as stepping stones, or you could jump into the river and continue on your way by swimming downstream. That feels like a bad idea. Let's let's try the stepping stones. Maybe our luck will save us. Yeah. Yeah. Test your skill. Lower than an eleven. Ooh, Ooh. that was close. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you fall into the river, you would just go down anyway, right? I don't know. Maybe you take damage. You give a sigh of relief as you set foot on the opposite bank, but you are not the first to set foot here. You can make out several sets of footprints on the sandy shore, heading towards a wide tunnel opening in the rock wall in front of you. Dive into the... They really want you to go down this river, Joe. I don't want to go down the river. Uh, we're a fire demon. Fuck that. You're right. Oh, it's a dead guy. The tunnel leads to a small cave with a dry, sandy floor, but what you see there causes you to come to an abrupt halt and surprise. A hole has been dug in the sand, and a small chest half pulled from it. However, lying next to the chest is the body of a dwarf. There are crude tools covered in blood, iron restraints, and an assorted other implements strewn about the cave, giving the impression of a primitive jail out of view from prying eyes. Judging by the blood soaking the sand and the obvious wounds the dwarf has suffered, you assume that he is dead, but who killed him? Leave or investigate the scene. Who killed Hannibal? Let's investigate. Let's. This will go great. What do you want to do first? Open the chest to see what else might be uh, hidden in the hole. See, see what else might be hidden in the hole. Leaning into the hole, using only your hands to. It's the fucking. It's that tube of horses or the tomb of horrors trap where you stick your hand in the green thing. And oh. just go up. Yeah, it's that. Leaning into the hole, uh, using only your hands to dig with, you begin to scoop more sand from the pit. It is not long before you feel something hard under the sand and a shifting. And shifting another handful, you discover a second chest that has been buried under the first. Dope. I find a purse brimming with gold pieces and a potion of strength. But up, Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, you're not <laughs> going to do much better than a bag of gold to match a potion. You're right. Plus one luck. Ooh, nice. Oh, well, I mean, we're already at max, so... Yeah. It, it increases your max, so now we have eight instead of seven. Um, as Ophelia Lapwing... No, we, we had eight before. Did we? Did we lose yeah. luck before? I remember. No, we were we were always at eight. Hmm. Uh, leave the yeah. Case. I mean, fuck, oh, is that we, it? Yeah, I, I guess, guess we got what we wanted. We got the achievement, so that's clearly clearly the right answer. Uh, boy. Okay, the river, huh? Halfway along the tunnel, you're surprised to see two scrawny creatures walking towards you from the other end. One of them appears to be the leader, with similar torturous implements on its belt. It is now quite clear what has happened to the dwarf. By the goblins. Oh, they're just goblins. Okay. Oh no! Can we beat some goblins? What if we lost? Here, I'd be pretty upset. Alright, so I'm pretty sure he's either yeah. going to move forward or attack, so... Yep. I mean, just keep doing that. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to move somewhere. Oh, he's a little... Oh, because he's a ringleader. I was like, why is he not dead? Ah, this is the... This, this is the goblin recolor. Oh, alright. Get him. Oh. Oh, they're getting spicy. I would move away. Oh, all right. Um. Yeah, cause oh well, no, cause I, then never I'll mind. Be. Not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Yeah, I would just kill the ring later. Yeah, he's gonna move and then. Oh. Well, all right. <laughs> um. Okay. They're, they're they're playing a dangerous game. Well, now they're dead. So. All right, you. You know, a goblin ringleader. Twice as many souls as a, uh, a dragon. Right? Yeah, that was a little weird. Just keep attacking the corner until he gets there. Like, oh, not anymore. Yeah, it's fine. They, they yeah. usually tend to attack diagonally, so... 
Because every I mean, it time matter, he has one HP. He's a goblin. Yeah. One... All right. Well, we killed him. They're cool. dead. You suspect the goblins are responsible for the death of the dwarf. Your suspicion are heightened when you find a full purse in their possession. Money. <laughs> God, I... I don't know what it's for. It's It'll matter later. Just watch. It's like, oh, if only you have a hundred gold pieces, can you proceed? And it's like, oh, we just so happen to have a hundred billion gold. Why would... Else this is such a bad idea, but I guess here we go. <sighs> it's probably just a story progression thing. Okay, this looks familiar now. I think maybe I've been here before. <laughs> It's so cold, I'm instantly regretting my decision. Okay. You find yourself on the south bank of the Underground River. It looks like you need to get to the north bank, and there appears to be four ways of crossing. Okay, yeah, I've, oh, I've gotten to this point before. So I can tell you what's the good option if you want, or you can guess. Well, we'll see. Well, let's see if I pick it, and then you can let me know. To your left, a rusted bell bears the sign. Fairy service, two gold pieces. Please ring. There is a small rock in front of you on the bank with a long stick resting inside it. You could punt across the river. A rickety old bridge crosses on the right. If you don't trust any of these, you may swim. I really don't want to get wet, but I must press on. <gasps> Chad I mean... is like, but the... Oh, yeah, but the rat powder. I guess it didn't get wet in the... Oh, well. Maybe those people conned you and it didn't actually... It wasn't really rat powder. I mean, I would ring the bell. We've got so much money to spend. Like, sure do. This is you've got to support answer. local businesses. Yeah. Ferryman asks for three gold pieces. When you protest the prices, he mumbles some flimsy excuse about inflation. He begins to get angry at your, your protestations. You just pay him. Fine, whatever, man. You'd have so much money. But I believe that's... Because I've tried the other ways and that usually ends bad, so... Okay, I've gotten about yay far ish, like minus three gold pieces, whatever. Get off the boat. You're now standing on the north bank in the large underground cavern. The most striking thing is a massive structure to the north. Built into the cave wall itself, it emanates a feeling of dread as it looms up over the river bank. To the right of the huge structures is a smaller but still imposing building in the cave wall. Directly to the east is a wooden building near the edge, near the bridge. Half finished wooden boats lay nearby, as though in progress. Okay, uh. All right, so we got we got uh, Castle Good Guy up north. Uh, we got the temple and a shack. Yeah, so there's over here. There's the front. There's this tower up here, I think, and then there's the shack. Okay. Um, let's let's check out the let's check out the wooden building. Let's see. Okay, shack to the west. All right. Sure. What's up, shack? Shack, shack. You walk across the sandy riverbank leading to the nearby shack. There's a door leading into the shack, which seems to be unlocked. Yoo-hoo, hello. You are in a small, foul-smelling room. You notice two doors, one to the west and one behind you to the south. The furniture of the room is sparse and has been made mostly from bits of old boats. There appears to be nothing of value in the room. An old man in ragged clothes is slumped to sleep on a bench made from half a rowing boat snoring loudly. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Next to him is a vicious-looking brown dog with red eyes and black teeth, which you've awoken, and, and that is now eyeing you suspiciously. A deep growl is coming from its throat. I mean, we should we should probably leave. I hope uh, this dog is friendly to the York sounds. Bang on the door behind you to wake the old man. Leap across the room with your weapon drawn to Let, cut Let's the wake dog. up the old man. Maybe you can stop the dog. The old, man eyes, the old man's eyes flutter open. He sees you and grabs for a half hour lying by his bench. You tell him you mean no harm, but he remains on guard and eyes you cautiously. Although he looks harmless enough, his dog could be dangerous. The man's boots Your are boots undone. Your boots are undone! <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Achievement unlocked. The old man thanks you and rather sheepishly ties up his boots. You can explain that you mean no harm, and he calms down, calling off his dog. Why is that an achievement? <laughs> um, it does kind of sound like you're talking to a cub jello, um, Chad says. Oh, sorry. I had my I had my uh, a bottle in front of my mouth. Oh, <laughs> this area is the only passageway through to the inner chamber. Some years ago, the river swelled up after a particularly severe spring thaw and cut off supplies from the outside world. All the area's inhabitants like starved. boats. They do. All the area's inhabitants starved to death, but the master, realizing he needed defenses against the outside world, put a curse on the area. The last remaining creatures became the undead and now guard the passageways through. He starts to inquire about you. Hmm. Um. I I would say th thanks, man. Like, I don't Thank know what he would know about the south door. Or yeah, he's a nice enough guy. We don't need to. We don't need to tell him more than he needs to know. See you later, man. 
Okay. So we can head to the wooden building near the pier. So I think that was that way. Head to the smaller Yeah, let's, ch let's check out pier building. Yeah, I'm, I no, question whatever. the logistics of this, like, this mountain, but no. <laughs> yes, whatever. <laughs> but no. You head towards the wooden building. The only means of entry appears to be a solid-looking wooden door. A sign above the door reads, Boathouse. The door is firmly locked, but a small barred window allows you to look inside. You can see a number of skeletons working on building a boat of some sort. Oh. Oh. Looks like a bunch of skeletons sewing a muscle together. They move in a series of quick, jerky actions, rather insect-like. Well, we don't have the boathouse key. Who knows where that is? Try to break down I'm... the door or go to the riverbank. I mean... I don't see a reason to bother these these friendly skeletons. I yeah. say we just go back to the river bank. Yep, yeah, fine. See you later, skeletons. Okay. Um, so we have the yeah. huge structure to the north, or this one over here to the northeast. Uh, yeah, let's one hundred percent this. Let's go northeast first. You always you got to look everywhere before going to the boss door. You follow the faint sandy path leading to an imposing building in the cave wall. Well, not as large as the building to the north, it is nonetheless magnificently guarded, magnificently grand. It towers above you, and you cannot help but wonder how on Titan the thing was built. At the top of the steps is a heavy stone door that seems very solid. Open the door. Get on the floor. Oh, all right, we're inside. Heaving open the door, it grinds against the floor in protest. Entering, you find yourself in an opulent, decorated room. You are overwhelmed by the sights of thousands upon thousands of bottles lining the shelves of the room. Fine carved furniture is placed strategically about the chamber. Cool. Oh, it's, it's the lady who tells us, who warns us about the resurrecting on the thing. Oh. Waiting for you inside is a tall woman wearing a long, dark gown and a spiked crown. Welcome, Ophelia Lapwing. I am Oriana, the Keeper of Souls. You don't know me, or maybe you do. I can never remember. But rest assured, your player does. Do not be alarmed. I'm here to help you. That's us! Oh, boy. My player? Is she referring to the demon that consumes me? Uh, yes. Let's... Uh, let's per let, let's see. What, uh, let's buy something from her. Oh, what so this got? is what money is for. How much do we have? Uh, um, not 75. 65. Oh, darn. Maze jumper uh, could be useful. Provisions, I, potion of fortune. Don't know what that's well, let's, for. Let's try selling something first. Let's see if we can get that extremely expensive maze jumper. Sell something to the soul keeper. Okay. Uh, we don't We don't need a potion of fortune. Yeah, don't know what that does. We'll keep the potion of strength. because I, I, I imagine help. there's got to be ways to lower your luck, but we've got really good luck, and luck's mm -hmm. not as useful as strength. Uh, yeah, now we can buy the maze jumper. Let's do it. Sell some. Yeah. The maze jumper. Yeah, the most expensive item. Fuck it. We'll buy some more provisions. Yeah, why not? We're not going to come back here. Um, okay, uh, let's talk about the Domain of the Dead, since there's a bunch of skeletons walking around in there. What can you tell me about the Domain of the Dead? You ask the Soul Keeper. She pauses for a moment, but for her, her face remains expressionless and without emotion. A place cursed by Zagor, or Zagor. I don't know. Created to provide an army of restless souls, each of which will endlessly guard his inner sanctum. I find it to be a useful location to be near, considering my line of work. However, I am not without my own protection. Many so-called heroes have become nothing more than tortured spirits to guard the warlock's treasure. I would advise you to be prepared. Oh, what, what treasure? Let's figure that out. Zagor is rumored to have a hoard of treasure. Do you know anything about it? Or, oh. Z Zagor is rumored to have a hoard of treasure. Do you know anything about it? <laughs> you ask Oriana. The treasure. Tr the treasure. You ask Oriana. She raises an eyebrow quizzically at the answers. Ah, Fuck yes. Off. Fuck No, your player. Ah, yes, of course. The warlock guards his treasure well. It is kept under lock and key within a magical treasure chest. He never keeps the three keys with him. Instead of choosing to cast a spell on them, each key is securely guarded and changes position within the mountain each time someone enters. The more keys used to pry open the chest, the greater the reward within. Ooh. Okay, so I guess the idea is you want to collect those before making it to the end, but mm -hmm. I, I have a feeling since we haven't found even one, we're probably not going to do it. <laughs> probably um, not going to happen. All right. I guess that's it. Yeah. See you later, Soul Keeper. Cool. I had no idea she was in here. When I came through, I just skipped all these buildings because I was in like a really bad way, and it's like, I'm going to die. Keep going. Build the Soul Keeper goodbye. Her presence makes you somewhat uneasy, and you're eager to leave. Goodbye, Ophelia Lapwing, she says. I know we shall meet again, if not during this adventure, then during your next one. Not understanding what she means, you leave for a large structure set into the cave walls. Okay, and then move forward. Alright, let's get out of here. 
And get the fuck out of here, the treasure. Hopefully we can just skip the, uh, we can just skip that maze section that the Keeper of Air said would kill us. Mm -hmm. You walk along the sand to the massive structure. A set of stone steps lead upwards into the building itself. Near the steps, a path leads west to a tower. There's something about this place that makes me feel uneasy. It's almost like... You keel over coughing. Change <laughs> the again as your head is filled with whispering. This place, it's evil! Well, damn. All right, well, well, let's go. This kind of works. It was actually going to that tower to the left, like... The higher you go up, the lower your luck and, like, all of your points start going down. After a while, I was like, fuck this, I'm not gonna risk going to the end. So this works out great. Uh, oh, there's bats. Bats! Alright, I guess we had to go pee. That's Good fine. luck killing these bats. I haven't fought one of these babies in maybe bats. 20 minutes, so... I'm also gonna clear all these bottles off my desk. For the reason I need to pee. Burn. Treasure. Oh, uh, let's see. Mm, don't want to move there. No, oh, nope, nope. Oh, that's what I got for being a, a hingle McCrinkle. I should move away. Nope, that's as soon as Jill leaves, I start dying. Isn't that fun? Uh, okay. Damn. Okay. He's gonna come back and be like, why are you so low on stamina? Because I'm not good at this game. I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. Hello there. A lot of souls. I'm getting those up pretty fast. Um, please move forward. Damn it. Ah, uh, shit. Um... He's just going to do a diagonal, so... No, he's not. God damn it. Jesus, I see your shit has been wrecked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God damn it. These fucking bats, they're being mean. Um, please move forward. God damn it. Okay. God damn it. Um... You don't want to stay there because it'll diagonal you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're all moved. Hmm. They're not playing by the usual rules. What can I do? Flame more. Yeah, and he's going to go there. He's probably going to move. No, he's not. Good. 10 stamina. Fuck my life. Please, please let me eat. Please, sir, uh, one provision. All right. The giant bats into a fire. Doom, you continue to race up the stairs. Surrounding you is a strange graveyard. There are gravestones littered about and trees made from stone cast shadows across the ground. A skull looks down at you from an archway. It appears to be the entrance to a crumbling bridge of stairs that traverses a large pit, glowing with an ethereal blue light. Your desire to continue on to this building of death and decay is strong. Oh, well. All right. Here we go. You begin to cross the vast dark void, swirling around below you in the depths of the void of the trapped souls of the dead. The souls begin to rise before bursting suddenly forth from the void, encompassing the bridge. Their wails fill your ears and shapes materialize in front of you. Ghosts! Ghosts! Oh god. I'd love to zoom in. But I guess you're on the bridge. Yeah, yeah just, I'm on the bridge you... in there and the. Yeah. You could try frame, uh, flame lancing to the right. Okay, so they they are diagonal friends. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes, they are very much diagonal friends. Oh, these guys these guys have a lot of souls, which makes sense. Yeah. 
Ruby. I would just stay there for this turn. Uh, See if you can... All right, you motherfuckers. You're gonna have to move eventually. Can I? Okay, so I want to yep. move in front of him. Yep, that's how they do it. They do it to the sides. Yeah. Move there. Damn it. Everybody misses. Try Aura. Yeah. Well, Aura won't get him diagonally. Let's see. Oh. Because they want to be... Yeah, actually... I want to be in front of him. Yeah, moving would be better. Aura! That one is going to get me up here, so I'm going to... Yep. Okay. <laughs> Everyone misses. Uh, Try flame lancing down. Help. Move. Yeah, move down again. So Get this goes. greaser. Alright. Hey. Oh wow, ghosts have a lot of skill. These aren't your father's ghosts. No. I mean, maybe they are. Dad? Daddy? Can I just flame more of you? Yeah. Alright, ghosts. Nice. Not so bad. You have 20 souls. Makes sense. The ghosts slowly sink back into the depths of the swirling void. One of them remains and addresses you. You've proven your worth, Ophelia Lapwing of Darkwood Forest. Enter the domain of the dead at your peril. The Lord of Undead will not be as kind as we would have been. Oh. The last spirit sinks through the floor and joins the others back in the gloom below. Alright, bye, ghosts. Oh! A tall carved archway looms ahead of you. To either side and above, rows of black windows face the gloom of the cavern. Go inside. A strange stone pillar decorated with monstrous bones supports the room. There are paths leading to the left and right, and a wooden ladder to the left of the stone going upstairs. Oh. oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> Climb the ladder. I love the... I love playing a video game. <laughs> <laughs> no, normally, when you get to this point, you know, you can pick which way yeah. you go. <laughs> um, you rise at the ladder, which leads to a tramp door, crashing through it in a bit of a ball of fire into the small room. Standing motionless, motionless in the center of the room with four men, and their skin is a green gray color. Their clothes are tattered and torn. Yeah, zombies. You're just hanging out. There's this guy over here. It's the Beatles and the fifth Beatle. <laughs> Can you defeat us? Engulf the. Okay, yeah. Duh. All right, here we come. Here we come. We're gonna get you. They try call. um, try try lancing forward because you're more than mm -hmm. you're more likely than not to hit one of them. They call me. They call me Scythe on account of my Scythe. I might. I might. Oh, yeah, that works too. Yep. They're all on fire. Yeah. Yeah, just move away, cause I don't like one of them is gonna die this turn, no matter what you do. So just. In my head, zombies are weak to fire. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. They are of decay. You're dead. Um. Maybe just move away. Who cares? I think these are pretty simple. They can just move in one, like, yeah, it's cardinal direction movement. Nothing special. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't want to get that way. Fuck. That's oh god, cool. they do a lot of damage, though. They do hurt. Okay, yeah, they, they sure don't attack diagonally at all. That's fine. Hey, what's going? Whoop. Yo. I should really do, like, double damage for rolling two sixes. That's fine. He's like, oh, shit! I mean, he's just gonna die. Just move yeah. away from him. Yeah, that one's fine. Yeah, yeah, and just, get, just get him. 20 souls. Zombie okay. lies in a smoldering cube. You have no more business here and feel once again compelled to climb the ladder before you. More zombies. Burning the ladder. You have entered a large circular chamber. The most striking feature here is a large stone bowl that is filled with a dark, rich red liquid, which is bubbling vigorously. A large spiral staircase leads upwards. Eh, let's go upstairs. We don't need to drink from the werewolf blood pool from Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. 
Maybe we should use a provision again. Yeah. How many do we have? Three. We also have a potion of strength, which counts as Yeah, I might, I might use a prov uh, provision now, because it feels like we're close to a boss fight. Yeah. Yeah. We can always hold on to that potion of strength until last. You climb the stairs and find yourself in a dark crypt of some kind. At one end is an altar, and various coffins are strewn about the room. Okay. Zombos. No, it's a, va a no, vampire. No, it's a vamp. Damn. Vamp. And three ghosts. Oof. All right. Oh. Okay. So now the ghosts work. No idea how this vampire works. Um, try uh, try spearing your lance towards the vamp. Oh damn! None of them moved. Whoa! Oh, no! That's so far. All right. I would move down, down yeah. here. Yeah. Get him. All right, vampire. Fireball up. You keep dancing. I'd have to move. I think. Oh, no, if he's gonna, no. he moves there. Ah, close. Damn. Lansom. Yep. Crunch. I like, I like that sound. Oh, you gotta move away from that vamp. Yep. Bye bye. I bet if he hits you, he sucks your health away. Oh, I bet you. Try, that, that makes sense. Try. Can you fireball diagonal up? Mm -hmm. Coward. I know. Three spoopy, five me. Move, move right. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, barely. Barely. I'm stuck. I mean, you can't move, so. Way more. Hey, all right. Better than nothing. Now let's. Mm. Uh, I I might just stand here. What can you fireball? What What do you have right now? Yeah, I can fireball. Uh, I might just attack. Well, fuck. Uh, yeah, fireball. Fuck it. That ghost moves. Thank you, ghost. <laughs> all right. This makes my life a little bit easier. Flame lance. Fuck. Back into the corner. No, the corner. Uh, yeah. I thought you were beckoning him to go back into some corner, so I was, I was like, let's try, try fireballing up at him. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, no, I, I keep forgetting. Big cooldown. Uh, That's my big slappy. Yeah, I might I might just waste your flame aura this turn to be safe. Oh, wait. How did I turn around? I don't know. <gasps> oh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, just use your flame aura, so... Perfect. Now you can fireball him. If he stays there. Good. You defeated the vampire. Body turns right. visibly older in front of your eyes. The face looks 50, the 90, then well over 100. The skin rots in the eyes, decompose as you watch. Oof. Notice movement no coming thing. from the creature's chest. Oh. As the remnants of the vampire decay, a small black face breaks through its chest. It resembles a small black shrew, but as it frees itself and unfurls its wings, you realize it's a bat. You lunge at it, but it flaps away in the darkness. Okay. okay. That's fine. Spiral staircase, you go. Okay. Yep, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. As you climb the last what steps... I read that is ignore this shit and continue on. <laughs> <laughs> the grim, imposing statue is holding a large bowl that represents the entire universe holding its grasp. So it looks like as though it's demanding a sacrifice. Bye. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Okay, go up. Oh, is that the maze in there? Wait. Kind of looks like there's some fucking chip. The narrow staircase is cut into the rock, and there are about 20 steps leading up. At the top of the steps, a passageway leads into a large open chamber. This chamber stinks of the putrefying flesh of corpses that are scattered around. The creature now stands before you that looks like a semi-decayed man. Its quick eyes dart from side to side, watch it. Oh, no! Oh, that's bad. Go oh, that's bad. oh, God. Okay, fight the ghouls. <laughs> Not safe for stream. Ugh. Oh, oh, God. Fuck. Rough. Maybe move into the bottom left corner. Or I guess, or yeah, maybe maybe left. Three? They can hit three. Okay, again. yeah. So uh, you want to keep them diagonal from you. Yeah. So maybe try flame. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Try flame aura. Yeah, because they're gonna try to move ahead easily. Well, that one is okay. That's not so bad. All right. Um. Yeah, flame lance. So you can... Nope. All right. 
I think you just gotta move away. Yeah. All right, get him. Burn this bitch. Okay, these guys, despite that horrifying art, uh, these guys are not so bad. Um, I think I think they probably hit for a shit ton. Mm -hmm, Play mm -hmm. more again. No. Nope. I mean, he'll, he'll, he'll die, die next turn, but just, just use Flame Lance, who cares? Whew. Yay. Oh, I'm back to normal. With the last of the ghouls burned to a crisp, you fall to the floor. You feel weakened within seconds, your flames extinguish. That's the longest I've remained in elemental form. Perhaps I am losing control after all. Olivia Lapwing, what will you do? I think I enjoyed it. <laughs> Have you seen the the Goofy's murder trial video? No. It's it's some some guy did like like an audio thing, and then someone animated it, and it's like Goofy's on trial for murder, and he like clearly did, and he's fucking insane. But like the whole time, like as to like you know the defendant, da -da -da, they're doing all their legal speak in the background. He's just like <laughs> just the whole fucking time, and at the end, he's like, <laughs> "I'll do it again." <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Anyway, climb the stairs. I love murder. Ah, fuck. All right, my fucking there desk. Ow. Top of the You're stairs, right. you go for it. Okay. Okay. Don't want to use the bench, because this is a good point to resurrect. Yeah. Follow the, the stairs, stairs upward. What's up, thing? Maze! Stepping into a tall, pillared room, you are stunned by its centerpiece. In the middle of the room stands a large, intricate glass globe. Inside the globe appears to be a complex maze, constantly twisting and rotating. As you look closer, there seem to be tiny figures inside the maze. The maze skipper is just... I could use the maze skip skipper. Skip it's just a part. hammer. You just skip this part of the game. You pull the maze jumper from your backpack. It looks like a smaller version of the glass globe in front of you. The maze jumper suddenly begins to glow, feeling warm in your hand. You feel Disney collapsing to the... You feel Disney. You feel like oh. Disney. Wouldn't that be something if we ended up inside anyway? Oh, no, we didn't. You wake up and find yourself lying on the floor of a small room that contains a large wooden door. There is a wooden bench, which would be convenient for a rest. The passage continues northward on the other side of the room. Yeah, definitely don't want to use it. Uh, open the door um, or follow the passageway. So I guess let's we open can the go. door. Yeah, okay. Hello? Hello? Okay, no, let me. Can I scroll down, please? Thank you. You try and open the door, but it holds fast, not even rattling a little bit as if it was locked. Follow the passageway and try and kick the door down. Mm, let's follow All the this fucking bull amulet stuff. I guess it's really Man, the bull amulet's it. very useful. Apparently. You continue along the tunnel, which bends to the west and begins to get quite narrow. You follow the passageway when you see a dull glow, which becomes more intense by the second. That is either fire or a dragon, and I don't feel like sticking around for either. Uh, the souls for people in game are used to um, unlock, unlock more characters character. to play as. Yeah. Um, the Kickstarter ones, I think if you kickstart it, you get them, but otherwise they're like 500 souls each or more. It's like crazy. Must be really good. Prepare to dodge the flames. That's your skill. Eh. Oh, that's that's good. Yeah, easy. You make it through the flames. Just eat them. <gasps> oh boy. I think that's. I hope that's I'm hoping that's a statue. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it's a statue. Reaching a. You small don't see vacuum. anything in this room. <laughs> you are in a large black cavern, which disappears into distant blackness. The cavern is partially lit by a misty light shaft beaming in through a hole in the roof. You cannot see a way through. As I don't. I can. I don't know. I can see some stuff in here, man. <laughs> as you shine your lantern around the cavern, you hear a rumble. A dull glow flickers in the blackness. Although I am used to the smell of burning by now, I should still be careful in here. Suddenly, a jet of fire shoots from the depths of the cavern, narrowly missing you and singeing the mossy growths on the wall. You throw yourself onto the ground and look up to see a large dragon stalking out of the darkness towards you. Smoke curls from its nostrils. Its scaly red skin glistens with an oily covering. <laughs> what were you doing, mister? Why would you give it that face? The beast is some 15 meters long. I mean, well, fuck. Ah. Oh, That's man, we could have gotten John DiMaggio's fire spell. All right. That would have been cool. All right, let's, let's fight it. it. Or the potion of fire protection. Oh, well, hindsight. I mean, Jesus. we... Oh, good, it's looking the other way. I think you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna take cover behind these rocks pretty much immediately. 
Oh. That doesn't well, help. Oh, no! Oh, we are gonna die. Oh, lord. What the fuck? I, I guess we I should guess have keep moving the to the south. Protection. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, I'm burning. Okay. Yeah. God, that burn lasts a fuck. while. Why would okay. I not turn into the fire for this? This seems like it would be... Oh, jeez. Yep. Okay. Move um... north. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I don't know why I said yeah, north. Yeah, he's, he's stuck because of the rock, I guess. So can he okay. not get through there? Because there's rocks here. He can't get through yeah, there. Yeah, can you move, in, move into the rock corner? You'll be able to fireball him. I can't fireball. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. What? Wait, what? He can hit me because he, he used his fire attack. I no, he used a different one. That was like a that was like horizontal in front of him. It was like a claw or something. I mean, fuck. I guess run because you're gonna take like four fire damage from this. So yeah, attack. God, yeah. Just keep attacking and hope you can out. <sighs> it's a dragon though, so you're not gonna great luck. Oh god. Oh but no. We lose. Oh yeah, we do. Oh man. All right. But I can... How do we... Oh, dear. It looks like the mountain has claimed another victim. Yeah, because we just go right back there. Yeah, let's just... We can we can probably beat that thing if we just... Fucking... Where is this? Wait, why Where's are the... we all the way back here? Wait, why are we all the way back here? I think you need to use a bench to save it, them, don't you? Why did the lady tell me not to? <laughs> she did tell you the opposite. All right, I... I mean, I think that's the end of the stream, then. <laughs> oh, fuck this lady. Okay. Yeah. Well, if nothing else, Keen, you learned that you can heal in this game. <laughs> I did. Holy fuck. You misread. We did not. She did said I? that you, she said that you can't use it. She was like, it. warning, don't do it. Do you need to, like, interact with the bench for it to count? That's fucking dumb. Like, you have to sit at it? You had to rest to save. She said the opposite. She did say the opposite. Because I checked because I thought that was stupid. And I was like, that king can't be right. And I read it. And I was like, mm. so, I mean, she did say that. All right, well. I have a stream to go back and look to. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong, but. All the way back I also here. read it that way. Fuck. I'm sorry, Keen. That's well, okay. <laughs> hey, maybe this time if you sprint to the waterfall, you can use the rats. Please. You're right. Um, thank you guys for coming out and watching this. As... As per usual, we were murdered by a dragon. Um, this is the end of Look Ma No Hands week one. I'm going to do a week two, but it's going to be in like three or four days. So, uh, yeah. Keen, do you have anything you want to plug? Um, go to, go to, wait, I can, sure. I'll just plug my YouTube channel. You had to rest to save. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you like... I guess those are the Why same would ones. it not auto save? I don't know. It's That's mean. dumb. Check out my page. Because, like, check out if my it... YouTube channel. <laughs> What's your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is called The Space Ditties. To show Jello's in it, Jello, who do you play in The Space Ditties? I play Tefeta. She's a Jigglypuff. Um... She's a Jigglypuff and a Disney Stitch all in one. <laughs> but nice. Stitchly puff. A stitchly puff. Um, will we get more games I played already? Uh, there was like one. Yeah, I thought what I are might... you, do you have any ideas for your next theme? Um, either it's either gonna be like silly challenges. I had another one. I heard um, about but the I silly can't... challenges, like wear a blindfold and you're the driver or something. Yeah, thoughts on this game? Um, pretty cool actually. This was a really good one for me interacting with it without mm -hmm. actually, like I felt your hands. as invested as if I was playing it. Mm -hmm. um, very disappointed about the autosave system. And the because rats. It should just, it should just autosave because if your options are like rest and get five stamina for free mm -hmm. or use a provision and get 10 stamina, why would you ever, like, or leave, why would you ever not rest there? I swear to God, it said, uh, yeah. it said, it like, you can either like, do this warned. or that. If you, if you rest here, you can't spawn here, unless she's lying. Yeah. If she's the fucking warlock, maybe that's the, twi the twist. I don't know. 
That's dumb, though. That is yeah, dumb. That's, I know for the that's future, my I big, guess, uh, that's the only complaint. And the rats. I wanted to make an army of rats. That's my... <laughs> I'm not sure if we just got really lucky, but it seemed we had a good um, a good run know. through this game in terms of, like, No idea how far we are. Yeah. Don't know if we're halfway I'd, I'd hope we were over halfway, frankly. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I didn't really get a sense that the Maze Skipper didn't... If the Maze Skipper teleported us to a dragon and murdered us. I, I'll say I've gotten to the maze before, and yeah, the maze is just like a whole other area, so I think it skips you past that entirely. But I, I never Into got through a dragon's the maze. mouth. Right. Which we would have needed either a thing from a guy or a potion of fire protection, which we could have bought from that lady, but I didn't, because I was yeah. like, why would I need that? Oops. I, um... Fun, though. I enjoyed... I enjoyed this... Um, I, what was I going to say? Oh, is Pip offline? That's really strange. It said the giveaway is happening now. I was wondering if I could raid him. Hang on, let me ask him. Do, do, do. My fingers are bad. Okay. I just don't correct typos anymore. Yeah, I, I enjoyed this one a lot. This is a really good, like, <clears throat> like I don't want to own this game, but it's fun sure. if your friend has it because you can oh, just yeah. go over to their house and, like, like get a get a box of snacks and just kind of try and go through this once. So yeah, it's yeah. pretty enjoyable. I mentioned earlier, I think as well, you're in the bathroom. This game is much better with someone than by yourself. So, yeah, for sure. Stabianus yeah. is streaming, so if you do want to plug someone, you can always plug your All right. man. Mm hmm yeah, I'll uh, I'll go. I'm gonna go attack uh, my my boyfriend's stream, even though I don't think he is the one streaming. Um, so yeah, streaming it's the probably Legend a fun of Dragoon night party game. Someone's doing Legend this, of Dragoon on his channel. Yeah, th this is a good game for like two or three people. Weirdly, and I I gotta say, I was expecting to enjoy this game the least, frankly, based on it's just a D and D game. Uh, I'm I like the combat system enough. It's like exactly as complex as it should be. Mm -hmm. Um. And this is this is maybe one of the ones I'd be like, I might I might want to pick this up. I'm not going to, but like I could see myself buying this if I saw it on a store shelf. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm going to I'm going to raid at whatever's going on over on stabbiness or so stick around for whatever that is. If you want, uh, let's try raid stabbiness. And then once that's how do you do that? Through, how does that work? You just click backslash raid and then type the there channel name and uh I I don't know if it just hosts it on your channel, but essentially you throw all your viewers to another location. Do we have a winner? Uh, let me look. That's a good question. Out of out of all the Stars games I played, I mean that that was me showing it off to Austin, <laughs> even though he was playing it, so that one doesn't count. Um, let's find out. Okay, so yeah, I guess I guess for anyone keeping score at home, uh, Skies of Arcadia is a game I like. Austin seemed to like it okay. Metal Wolf Chaos, I think, the Piff showing it off, I think that was the ideal way to experience that game. I have no want to play it. It was a fucking ball to sit through it. Uh, Phantom Dust, I actually think, is the loser of this week. Uh, I Phantom know Dust. That. Yeah, um, no Will likes Will it's a it's an older game it's a very old game it's like a early xbox game like 2003 or 4 mm. and uh aged really badly and we did like an extra long stream because it turned into just a q a stream it was like five hours and oh, wow. phantom dust uh i think maybe two or three story beats happened in five hours and the rest was all bad combat padding so uh that one that one did not impress me uh, Odd World's Abe's Exodus seemed like a neat game, but not up my alley because it was a puzzle platformer and it was ugly as fuck, neither of which I like. Ham Taro Ham Ham Heartbreak is maybe the winner for like the I kind of actually want to play this and might buy it thing. The are Sexy we, Brutale. Are still on the stream because it's gone over to Snappy this now. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if anyone oh, yeah. is still. Yeah, I think it's because <laughs> I have the screen. I, did, I didn't know it did that automatically. Yeah, it does. Oops. Well, bye. <laughs>